Okay, so we are loading up our game. <sighs> As we discovered last stream, I think it was last stream. This game is um, very intense and has it and is triggering for a lot of different reasons. So ever let yeah, keep that in mind um, for those that wish to to watch it and stuff. PM? Yeah, it just said PM. I don't know. Um, anyway, so yes, that is our, our front trigger warning since I forgot to do it <laughs> last time when I entered the game and we were thrown into that with Sauri and everything like that. And yeah, we found we found the triggers. We found the psychological horror aspect of the game last stream. So let's so let's uh let's get that out of the out of the way now. But I just want to protect the girls. I just want to I want everything to be OK. I know it's not going to be, though. All right, I have to stop stalling. Let's just get into it. <sighs> there, there was no, no point of me saving two, but I did it anyways. Okay, yeah, we're making our second poem. So I think we're gonna try to go for Natsuki in this time. Diving right in, I guess. I, I, I don't have any choice. <laughs> I'm nervous. I just want them to be okay and survive. And also the glitches like that were happening last stream were really messing with me. Like they were a little mini jump scares. I don't even know why, but all right. So let's get this poem. We're gonna go for Natsuki. I feel bad for Yuri, but you know, we're gonna do it. Okay, sweet. Uh, b -b 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 music. Wait, that could be a Yuri thing. Uh, uh giggle. Uh, vibrant. Oh wait, no, 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 that wasn't it. <laughs> I, I'm so like directed towards Yuri that in the, in the first couple of poems that it's actually hard getting out of it. Okay. Uh, destiny, beauty. Yeah, sure. Uh, calm, ocean, secretive. Okay, the short words are Natsuki, the longer words are Yuri. That is what we've come to know. Uh, well, flying, yes. Cheer. Mm, sparkle. Sugar. Wonderful. Well, ah, friends. Doki Doki. <laughs> Doki Doki. Yes, that's, uh, that's Natsuki as well. Uh, I'm actually pretty impressed that I've remembered all of their names, despite not playing last week. Uh, Fluffy. Ooh, bit, 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 bit. Dance? Yeah. Anime. Yes. Natsuki, a girl after my own heart. Okay. Sunset. Cute. Family. Heart. Uh, kitty. Comfort. And love. Which might be Yuri. So we'll do strawberry. And silly. Let's go. Okay. All Natsuki so far. Yeah, we only did one that was Yuri. Oh. <laughs> This, this game gives me heart pain. I'm like, why? I already know kind of what I'm in for. So like, why why am I playing it again? Mm, this misleading ass music, yeah. Oh, I, I know what Paz m meant by like, saying that the, the music is part of the horror. <laughs> I didn't believe it at the beginning, but yeah, it's, it's giving me already uncomfortable feels. So cheerful, only for her to strike, yeah. Um, okay, so my prediction, probably go just going forward, is I would be really surprised if it did not go in this direction since we kind of already saw it with Sauri. This is my thinking going forward, 
is that we'll make poems. The thing is, we don't have a lot of girls left. We only have two girls left. So I don't really know what will happen once we get to the one girl. Uh, well, I, or we just make it to Monica. But I'm thinking the girls that we don't write the poems for, um, they will do something to disagree with them, and then Monica will talk to them, and then they won't make it. And then they will not survive to the next day or repeat. That's my gist of like where it's going. I don't know what's going to happen when we get to the final girl or like when we get to the final Monica. <laughs> so that's what I'm nervous about. And I'm like, it's it's really not that bad. It just has those really intense moments, as we talked about before, that's like very triggering and un very uncomforting to to look at. So so I'm not looking forward to that. You will have to redo all. <laughs> Baz. Okay, that's my thing. I'm like, what? Okay, we just have to play it. I need to stop stalling. And, and yeah, uh, because I'm worried that in order to end up with different girls, we're going to have to replay it all. So let's see. Another day passes and it's time for the club meeting already. I've gotten a little more comfortable here over the past couple days. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Welcome back, new member. Uh, is like Undertale. It's like the no soul route. <laughs> okay, this, this is bothering me. This is not fun to look at. So, so, so let's, I'm just, it's just gonna get worse and worse. I already know. Okay. Welcome back, new member. Uh, hi, Yuri. <laughs> Hi, Yuri's boob. That's all we get. That's all we get. Uh, hi, Yuri. I'm not sure if it's me or if it's Yuri's expression. Her, her expression. Yeah, that... Her expression is really great today. I'm afraid. <laughs> but the weight of yesterday's coral still hangs in the air a little. Oh, right. They had that one coral which in this second root, second version of things, uh, became a lot more intense. And yeah, we went out to the hallway with Monica. Right. Okay, I remember. Um, Yuri glances over her shoulder, looking around the room. Natsuki is reading manga at a desk. And surprisingly, Monica isn't here yet. Suddenly, Yuri takes my arm and pulls me to the corner of the room. About yesterday, I... I really need to apologize. Nothing like that has ever happened before. And something just came over me, I guess. I wasn't acting mentally sound. Please don't think we're usually like this. Not just me, but Natsuki as well. Yuri, I'm happy that you were considerate and apologized. You don't have to worry too much. Even though I've only been here for a couple days, I could tell something was off yesterday. Maybe we were just a little extra sensitive because it was our first time sharing poems. But whatever it was, it didn't make me think any less of you. I had already decided that there's no way that you could be a bad person. And now that you're apologizing, I know you really me didn't mean it. Uh, new member, don't say those kinds of things so frankly. They make me a little too happy. I'm really glad that you're such an understanding person. And I'm really glad that you joined this club. Everything is a little bit brighter with you around, and... Uh... Sorry, what am I saying right now? I just... Hey, have you guys seen Monica? Uh... No, I haven't. I was also kind of wondering where she was. Man... Yuri, I'm guessing you haven't either. Yuri is clearly taken aback by how calmly Na Natsuki is addressing her. N no, I haven't. Jeez, this isn't like her at all. I know it's stupid, but I can't help but worry a little bit. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Um... Natsuki, about yesterday... I, I just wanted to apologize. 
I promised I didn't mean anything by the... Oh, I, oh, 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 what is reading today? I promised I didn't mean any of the things I said. And I'll do my best to stay under control from now on. So... Yuri, what the heck are you talking about? What do you mean, what is she talking about? She, you, you said some mean things to her, she said some mean things to you. Did you do something yesterday? Uh... What? Jeez. Oh no! Wait! Wait! Did we- Okay, so this- Yeah, Yuri hasn't been glitching out that much, but Natsuki has. Natsuki was glitching a lot last time, actually. But we are trying to go with Natsuki. Maybe it's too late? And we're already stuck with Yuri? <laughs> uh, or maybe Natsuki's gonna, like, take over Yuri and be like, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Whatever's on your mind, I'm sure it was nothing. I don't even remember anything bad happening. Did Monica do something to you, Natsuki? Did Monica do something? She's like, um, that's not the way li literature club works. Everything has to go well, guys. So no bickering. You're the kind of person who worries too much about the little things, aren't you? But... I'll accept your apology anyway. If it helps you feel better about it. Besides, it's kind of nice to hear since I was always afraid that you secret secretly hated me or something like that. <laughs> no, not at all. I, I don't hate you. <laughs> well, you're kind of weird, but I don't hate you either. Natsuki turns to me. You're still on trial, though. Hey! Suddenly the door swings open. Oh, I hate how she's... How she, you know, slides in. Monica sliding into our, our DMs, into our game all the time. Is that why the text is bold? Yeah, I don't know. She was doing that last time, too. She's here. She's here. <laughs> she looks so, so concerned. I don't believe it for a second. Uh. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with Natsuki. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Uh, there you are. Don't, don't get closer, Monica. Don't get closer. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Nah. Well, Natsuki was. I, I was not! <laughs> what took you so long anyway? Uh... Well, my last period today was study hall. To be honest, I kind of just lost track of time. <laughs> that makes no sense, though. You would have heard the bell ring, at least. I must have not heard it since I was practicing piano. Didn't she say this another time, too? I feel like I'm getting so much deja vu. Piano? I wasn't aware you played music as well, Monica. Oh, yeah, maybe she... Maybe... She said that the first time? The first route? Yeah, probably. Uh, don't give me more credit than I deserve. I guess I've been practicing for a while, but I'm still not really good yet. Still, that must require a lot of dedication. So I'm still impressed. She's like halfway off the screen. Oh, uh -huh, well, thanks, Yuri. You should play for so uh, literally that. Oh my gosh, my words and reading today are so scuffed. You should play something for us sometime. Uh, that's... Monica looks at me. Well, I'm working on writing a song, but it's not quite done yet. I don't want to hear your song, Monica. Sorry. Maybe once I get a little bit better, I will. That sounds cool. I look forward to it. Is that so? In that case... I won't let you down, new member. Monica smiles sweetly. Uh... I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. Uh, don't worry. I like how everyone else just l disappeared. Just me and Monica. The way it should be. <laughs> I was hoping that I could share it with you anyway. I guess that's why I've been practicing so much recently. 
I see. I'm not sure if Monica was referring to the whole club or just me. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. So I didn't miss anything, did I? She's peering into my soul, I know. Like, where did everyone else go? Uh, not, not really. I choose not to bring up anything that the three of us talked about. Besides, Natsuki has already run off into the closet. New member. Um, since your compliments put me in a good mood, I was wondering if you'd like to spend some time together today. Oh! Yeah, maybe we don't get a choice. Maybe we're stuck with Yuri. I mean, in the club. Uh, I suppose so. I don't think I could say no to you after you gave that book to me. Well, I guess I need to make sure that Natsuki isn't waiting for me. After we finished reading yesterday, she... She's fine. She's reading over there, see? Don't think about her so much. She's used to being ignored. Come on, we're going over there. <laughs> the casual black screen, okay. What's the story about anyway? Well... Mm. I look at the cover of the book. The book is titled Portrait of Markov. There's an ominous looking eye symbol on the front cover. Basically, it's about this religious camp that was turned into a human experiment prison. Oh. Okay. And the people trapped there have this trait that turns them into killing machines that lust for blood. Okay. But the facility gets even worse, and they start selectively breeding people by cutting off their limbs and affixing them to- Oh, no! No! Okay. Where's the book that we were reading last time? I preferred that one. Uh, that might be a little bit of a spoiler. It, it's okay, I don't want to read it. But anyway, I'm really into it. The book, I mean. Not the thing about the limbs. I would hope not. That's kind of... That's kind of dark, isn't it? Yuri made it sound like it was going to be a nice story, so the dark turn came out of nowhere. Where's the book on tea and cookies? <laughs> I don't know. I can't even remember what we were reading last time. Uh... Are you not a fan of that sort of thing, new member? I... I the limbs or the book? No, it's not that. I mean, I can definitely enjoy those kinds of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri's into these things. She's so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. It's just that this kind of story... is the kind that challenges you to look at life from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen not just because someone wants to be evil, but because the world is full of horrible people, and we're all worthless anyway. Then suddenly... Uh, I'm rambling, aren't I? <laughs> uh, not again. I I'm sorry. Uh, hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well... I guess it's alright then. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. When I let things like books or writing fill my thoughts, my whole body gets incredibly... Uh, actually, I don't know if I wanted to read that, so... Yeah, let's move on. I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. And please stop me if I start talking too much. That's... I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading. Oh my! The least I can do is listen. It's a literature club, after all. Uh, that's... Well, that's true. In fact, I might as well get started reading it, right? No, I don't want to read it. <gasps> Oi! <sighs> yes. I mean, you don't have to, but... Why? I hate it. It's like little jump scares. Why it's why is it more scary than an actual like horror game? I mean, this is a horror game, but <laughs> What are you saying? Let me just get the book. 
I quickly retrieved the book that I had put into my bag. Alright, it's fine if I stay here, right? I slip into the seat next to Yuri's. Uh... Yeah. Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. That's... I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. That is, reading in the company with someone. In company with someone. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Uh, all right. I open the book and start the prologue. I soon understand what Yuri means about reading in company. It's as if I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not a particularly bad thing. Maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri is in the corner of my eye. I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. Didn't we just do this with Natsuki? Uh, sorry. I was just breathing, bathing in the something of my heat of my what? <laughs> Yuri, you really like to- you really apologize a lot, don't you? Uh, I do? I don't really mean to. Sorry. I mean... <laughs> uh, here, this should work, right? Her book sounds like they are... Uh, her books sound like they're taking over. Yeah, I... I don't know. We were really close with Yuri, but now she's kind of, uh... Starting to freak me out a little bit. Here, this should work, right? I slide my desk up until it's up against Yuri's, then hold my book more between the two of them. Uh, I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Once we each lean in a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. It feels like my left arm is in the way, so, I in so instead I use my right hand to hold the book open. Uh, oh my goodness, I lost my, like, train of thought. Okay. Uh, I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. Yuri takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and fourth finger. Uh, I do the same with my right arm on the right side of the book. That way I turn a page and Yuri slides it under her thumb after it flips to her side. But in holding it like this, we're huddled even closer than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. It's as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face and she's in the corner of my vision. I feel like something, because we already went through this right? We already saw this in the first, it feels like such a long time ago, but in the first run of this route we already did this so I feel like they're gonna like do something here which is making me nervous Are you ready? <laughs> Are you ready? Uh, what? To turn the page Uh, sorry <laughs> I think I got a little bit distracted for a second. I glance over at Yuri's face again and our eyes meet. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Uh, that's okay. You're not as used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. It's probably the least I can do. Since you've been so patient with me. Uh, yeah. Thanks. We continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she finishes the page before me, so I turn it by my own volition. We continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. My thumb gently letting go of the page, letting it flutter over to her side as she catches it under her own thumb. Oh, I actually see like a little... a hand! That's our hand, guys! Uh, a, a small sneak peek of the, the MC, let's go! Oh, I'm, I'm using my mouse. I always forget you guys can't see my mouse. Uh, hey, Yuri. This might be a silly thought, but... The main character kind of, remi kind of reminds me of you a little bit. Uh... <laughs> no, I, I don't relate to this character at all. I would hope not. De definitely not. Really? I was just thinking the way she second guesses things she says and all that. Oh yeah, we were reading a different book last time. And we said that same thing. Uh... That's what you were talking about. Sorry. I thought you meant something else about her. Something else? 
never mind. We didn't even get that far yet. So I don't know why that came into my head. <laughs> Yuri, are you feeling all right? This is definitely a different expression on her. It's kind of interesting. I kind of like it, but at the same time, I feel like she's uh, not doing so hot, so I don't like it at the same time. Uh, Yuri's been a little fidgety ever since we started reading. You can rest if you're feeling sick or something. Your breathing is a little... My breathing? Yuri puts her hands on her chest as to feel her heartbeat. I, I didn't even notice. A anyway, I'm fine. I just need some water. All right, don't push yourself. Yuri stands up and practically rushes out of the classroom. What on earth was that about? New member? <laughs> oh, Monica, you're such a dear. Hello. Did something happen just now? She looks like she's gonna snap. Yeah, seriously. Oi. Uh. I have no idea. Yuri was acting a little strange, I guess. So you don't know anything. Ah, uh, of course Monica knows. Monica likes to s stick her nose in everyone's business, doesn't she? Sorry, I can't say I do. Are you worried about her? Oh, no, not really. I was just making sure that you didn't do anything to her. No? N no, no, nothing. <laughs> Don't worry, I believe you, silly. Yuri just does this sometimes, so it's nothing alarming. Alright, if you say so. Anyway, why don't we start with sharing our poems with each other? Uh, shouldn't we wait for Yuri? Well, she might be a while, so I just figured we'd get started without her. Is that okay? Yeah, I was just asking. I stand up. I make a mental note of where I left off in the book, then slip it back into my bag. Uh, well, we might as well go with Natsuki. We only have two options now. S soon it's just gonna be Monica, Monica, Monica. All right. Huh? Well, it's not terrible, but it's pretty disappointing after your last one. Then again, if this was if this one was as good as your last one, I would be completely pissed. Well, I guess I wanted to try something a little different this time. Didn't I? Wait. Didn't I write my poem for Natsuki? I... Didn't I? Right? Like... Am I... Am I tripping? Fair enough. You're still new to this, so I wouldn't expect you to find your style right away. I mean, everyone in the club writes really differently from each other. Maybe you'll find a little influence from all of us. For instance, I noticed that you're spending some time with Yuri today. Not that I care about who you spend your time with. After all, I was taught never to expect anything from anybody. So it's not like I was waiting for you or anything. Still, you should at least look over my poem. You'll probably be able to learn something from it. <laughs> oh no! Natsuki is gonna go away! So true, yeah. I'm sorry, Natsuki. I'm sorry! New member. Why didn't you come read with me today? I'm sorry! I was waiting for you. I was waiting for a long time. It was the only thing I had to look forward to today. Why did you ruin it? Do you like Yuri more? I think you're better off not associating with her. Are you listening to me? Yuri's a sick freak. I don't like this. I don't, I don't like, I don't like it. I don't like it. That should be obvious by now. So just play with me instead. Play with me instead. Play with me instead. <laughs> okay, I hate this music. Why, stop, stop. You don't hate me, new member, do you? Do you hate me? 
I feel like it's a. J oh, don't. I don't want to look at the screen. Do you want me to. want to make me go home crying? The club is the only place I feel safe. I don't like it. It's okay, Natsuki. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't ruin that for me. Don't ruin it. Please. Just stop talking to Yuri. Play with me instead. I don't like this music. It's all I have. Play with me. I hate this part. Ah, I don't like it. Play with me. Well, I guess we gotta share a poem with Monica. That escalated quickly, it did. I hate this part. <laughs> and this shitty music doesn't cooperate. <sighs> um. I, I, I. I. A streamer is broken. Streamer is broken. <laughs> streamer is malfunctioning. The game is affecting me. Uh, that. I wasn't. Ex I wasn't expecting that there. I thought like we would have some time with. Uh, we. I would have some time. <laughs> I. That was so quick. Is that just it, the end for Natsuki? <sighs> I guess we'll talk to Monica. Oh, wait, 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 I, 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 it, that's weird. Pouring one out for Natsuki. <laughs> that's weird. So I was expecting the game to... So, so you know, last time when Sauri didn't make it, like the game ended and then it took us like back to the beginning screen again, but now it didn't. Like we're, we're to Monica. It's always all routes lead to Monica. new member how's the writing going all right i guess uh, i'll take it i'll take that as lo uh as long as it's not going bad i'm happy that you're applying yourself wait so is natsuki not gonna be there anymore maybe he soon you'll come up with a masterpiece i like can't i can't like read her lines i'm still i'm reeling from that. <sighs> Maybe soon you'll come up with a masterpiece. <laughs> I wouldn't count on that. You never know. Want to share what you wrote for today? Uh, sure. Here you go. I give my, my poem to Monica. All right. Great job, new member. I was going ooh in my head while reading it. It's really metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. I, di I didn't mean to go for something so deep. No idea, I'm gonna assume she gone, yeah. I guess we'll see after this section when Yuri comes back. I don't know. Maybe, I so that's my thing. Like, are we not gonna reset? We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I guess I underestimated you. I feel like that she's like talking fourth wall. She's like, I didn't know you'd make it this far. It's easiest for me to keep everyone's expectations low. That way it always counts when I put in some effort. 
Uh, that's not very fair. Yeah, I feel like she's talking to me. <laughs> well, I guess it worked anyway. You know that Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? Don't get too comfy. <laughs> oh, Paz! I, I'm not comfy. I'm not comfy at all. I, I, <laughs> I am the opposite of comfy. <sighs> Writing that's full of imagery and symbolism? Sometimes I feel like Yuri's mind is just totally detached from reality. I don't mean that like it's a bad thing, though. But sometimes I get the impression that she's just totally given up on people. She spends so much time in her own head that it's probably a much more interesting place for her. But that's why she gets so happy when you treat her with a lot of kindness. I don't think she's used to being indulged like that. She must be really starved for social interaction, so don't blame her for coming on a little too strongly. Like earlier. Yeah, you saw that, didn't you, Monica? I think if she gets too stimulated, she ends up withdrawing and looking for some alone time. Suddenly, the door opens. Yuri! Okay, 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 okay. Hello, Yuri. Oh, I always think something's gonna pop out at me. I'm back. Did I miss anything? Oh, uh, I you missed so much. Y uh, the let's not even talk about it. Okay. Not really. <laughs> Monica. Well, we all started sharing our poems with each other. Uh, already. I'm sorry for being late, but but who's each other? Who's each other, Monica? Was it just you and me in this room? <sighs> no need to apologize. We still have plenty of time, so I'm more glad that you took all the time you needed. All right. Thanks, Monica. I suppose I should go get my poem now. But anyway... You want to read my poem now? No! No! I do not! Ever! I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too! Save me. The colors, they won't... Bright... Be... Too... Full... Colors... Flashing... Ex... Bending... Piercing... Red, green, blue, and endless cacophony of meaningless noise. The noise, it won't stop. Violent grating with... <laughs> I can't read it like this. Uh, ver, ver, wait, vif, vif, erms, squeaking, screeching, piercing, sine, cosine, tangent, like playing a chalkboard on a t urn table, like playing a knife on a breathing rib cage. And delis. P mm, of meaningless. Wait, that's weird that it said PM because when I logged in uh, to the when I booted up the game, it said this is all because PM died. Th that's probably not it. Delete her. <sighs> um That was that was nice. That's nice, Monica. Very metaphorical and not real at all. But it's weird because it ends up with save me and then delete her. So I don't know who who is this perspective from? Is it from Monica? Is it from one of the girls? Is Monica the villain? Or is she trying to say there's something else? Damn girl, chill! Uh, yeah. What the fuck? Okay. That's nice, Monica. <laughs> That's nice, Monica. 
I know, it's kind of abstract. I'm just trying to, um... Well, never mind. No, what are you trying to do? What are you trying to do, Monica? Tell me, send me a sign. What do you want? What do you want from me? Let me out of the literature club. There's no point in explaining. No, please do. I'm, I'm all ears. Anyway. Here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes you find, you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. I can't- okay, okay, fine, sure. Save my game. Good enough. You never know when, um... Who am I talking to? Can you hear me? <laughs> no, uh, no, I... I, I uh, Monica? Hello? Loud and clear, I can hear you. Is she talking to me or the main character? <laughs> Tell me you can hear me. Anything. Both? Please help me. I, I, I don't know what you want from me, Monica. I'm sorry. Okay, okay. I, I mean, that's cool. I'll help. I think. Are you okay, Monica? Or is it someone different? Is it someone different than Monica or the girls? Is someone else trapped in the game? That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Okay, who should I show my poem to next? I guess Yuri. I guess I don't have any other option. <laughs> Yuri, are you gonna be okay? Are you gonna make it to um are you gonna make it to tomorrow? Are you gonna make it to the writing festival? T to the, the cultural festival? <gasps> okay. I've been waiting for this. Let's see what, what you've written for today. Yuri smiles and takes a deep breath. I like just holding it. Y yeah? Um, uh, I mean... The poem turned out good. It's, a. Uh, well, there are some things that you can work on. But that doesn't really matter. It feels like anything written by you is a treasure. No! I- I'm just gonna expect the worst. I know! I- <sighs> Am I- I am malfunctioning from this game. Okay. And Yuri, I thought we would like had something special, but I don't know anymore. Like, I- I don't know if we want to go down this route together. came out a little awkward. L let's move on. Here's the poem I wrote. I don't know. I don't, I don't want to see the poem you wrote. You don't have to like it or anything. Okay, okay. She wrote an actual... She wrote something that was not... Jumbledness. I can read this. This is words. That's, that's a good sign. Wheel. A rotating wheel. Turning an axle. Grinding bolt, bolt head. Linear gearbox falling sky. Seven holy stakes. A docked ship. A portal to another world. A thin rope tied to a thick rope. A thin rope tied to a thick rope. A torn harness. Parabolic gearbox. Expanding universe. Time controlled by slipping cogwheels. Existence of God, swimming with open water in all directions, drowning. A prayer written in blood, a prayer written in time-devoting snakes with human eyes. A thread connecting all living, living human eyes. A kaleidoscope, 
a kaleidoscope of holy stakes, exponential gearbox, a sky of exploding stars, God disapproving, disproving the existence of God, a wheel rotating in six dimensions, 40 gears and a ticking clock, a clock that ticks one second for every rotation of the planet, a clock that ticks 40 times every time it ticks every second. Wait, I <laughs> second time <laughs> this. OK. A bolt head of holy stakes tied to the existence of a dock ship to another world. A kaleidoscope of blood written in clocks. A time devoting. Actually, maybe this is worse. I'm not quite sure if this is as I'm not quite sure where to place this one. A time devouring player connecting a sky of 40 gears and an open human eyes in all directions. Breathing gearbox, breathing bolt head, breathing ship, breathing portal, breathing snakes, breathing God, breathing blood, breathing holy stakes, breathing human eyes, breathing time, breathing prayer, breathing sky, breathing wheel. Okay. Mm hmm. I just want to cover, like, play the game with my, like, through my hands. Like, no, I, I don't see any of this. Yeah, that, that was something. Uh, it doesn't really matter what it's about. My mind has a little, been a little hyperactive lately, so I had to take it out on your pen. Huh? Uh... That is, a, a pen fell out of your backpack yesterday, so I took it home for safekeeping and... Huh? I, um... I just really like the way that it writes. So I wrote this poem with it. Did you? What? Wait, why is there no music? Wait, hello? Why is there no music during this section? There's always... Wait, when did the music stop? I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah. Wait, when did the music stop? The music only stops at the worst times. <sighs> okay. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. There's no music. That means nothing. That means nothing. Okay, you wrote the poem with it, Yuri. That's that's nice. Okay. And now you're touching it. Uh, I don't like that face, Yuri. I don't I don't like your face. I don't like I uh, I I'm okay. What did I just can we pretend this conversation never happened? I don't know. I don't know, Yuri. You can keep the poem, though. No, have it back! Take your poem back! You unlocked a special pro poem! What, do I want to read it? I guess yes. I guess yes. You think you know what's coming, ghost? <laughs> well, we made it through that interaction, at least. I guess. Okay. Yeah, no, no. Is the screen moving? Oh, there's like some some weird things happening at the corners. <laughs> That's fun. Wait, what are these noises? Okay, I'm not going to focus on the noises. Just play the game. Play the game. So this stops. Okay, everyone. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? We have something we need to go over today, so if everyone could come sit at the front of the room. Someone put some salt in your eyes or something. Oh, yeah, some, yeah, I think I put on some red-tinted goggles. Some rose-tinted, uh, I'm seeing the world with rose-tinted glasses, yes. Because that's what I need. 
when playing this game to ignore all the creepy, crazy stuff going on. Is this about the festival? Oh! Natsuki! Why is Natsuki here? Uh, well, sort of. Ugh, do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. I don't like this. Natsuki back? I, I'm concerned for her. I'm, I don't know what's happening right now. I thought I knew what was gonna go down. Nothing happened. Uh, what happened to the screen? I don't. I don't know what happened to the screen. There are weird noises on top of the music. I don't. Okay. It's not like we can put together. Uh, it's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. It's a c concern of mine as well. Wait. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> um... What happened to the game? <laughs> I got out for five minutes and now what? I don't know, Paz. You've played this game before. What? Why is the screen black? I thought... Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Hello, Monica? Are, are you there? Oh. Okay, 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 okay. Everything's fine, it's fine. <laughs> that I played. Uh, I played it. Don't mean I understand it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Th that was fine. Freaked me out a little bit, but okay. I don't really do well with last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. We're gonna keep it simple, okay? Uh, Natsuki's back. Cool. I wasn't expecting her to come back. That's interesting. Look, I know everyone's been a little bit more lively ever since the new member joined and we've started with some club activities. But this isn't, isn't the time for us to become complacent. Doom is feeling more friend, family friendly than this. <laughs> <sighs> okay. But still, uh, we still only have four members. Oh, okay, okay. Four members. Natsuki's back. Cool. Pog. Let's go. Still concerned about her. But we'll take it. And the festival is our only real chance to find more, you know? What's so great about getting new members anyway? We already have enough to be considered an official club. More members will just mean everything gets noisier and more difficult to manage. Natsuki... I don't think you're looking at it in the right way at all. Don't you want to share your passion with as many people as you can? To inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place? The literature club should be a place where people can express themselves like they can do any- They can't do- Express themselves like they can't do anywhere else. It should be a place so intimate that you never want to leave. I know that you've- uh, I know you feel that way too. No, I don't feel that way, Monica. I feel like I would like to leave. And never come back. I know we all do. So that's what, why we should work hard and put something together for the festival. Even if it's something small. Right, new member? Uh... Oh, come on! You can't take advantage of the new member to agree with you just because he doesn't know how to say no to anything. Look, Monica. Oh no, the music stopped again. The music stopped again. No, I don't like the music not stopping. I mean, I don't like the music stopping. <laughs> Look, Monica. Do you really think any of us here joined the club with other people in mind? Yuri never even talked until the new member joined. 
As for me, I like it better here than I do at home. And the new member isn't even passionate about literature in the first place. And that's everyone. Sorry, but you're really the only one who's so interested in finding new members. Uh, Natsuki, you better watch yourself. You better watch yourself, babe. Monica is gonna, you know, do something to you. The rest of us are fine like this. I know you're president and all, but you should, should, oh my gosh, what is my reading today? I know you're president and all, but you should really consider our options for once. <laughs> Monica is clearly taken aback by Natsuki's words. <laughs> Can I just, I just want to play this game through my eyes closed. That's not true at all. I'm sure Yuri and the new member want to get new members, get more members too. Right? Uh, I'm sorry, Monica. I, I, maybe. I feel bad. I don't know about Yuri, but I'm kind of indifferent. If I showed as much enthusiasm as Monica wanted, then I would probably be lying. Still, if it's up for me to, if it's up to me, oh my goodness, if it's up to me to rescue this situation, um, no. Natsuki's right, isn't she? This club is nothing more than a place for a few people to hang out. I like how they changed it to such like heart whelming, uh, sensitive, tear jerking music. Like, oh my goodness, Monica's really having a hard time. Like during this, <laughs> during this moment. Why did I think that everyone here saw it the same way as I did? But that doesn't mean that we're... Oh, wait. But that doesn't mean that we're against getting new members or anything. New member, why did you even join this club? Because you forced me to. Because you forced me to, Monica. I... I, I didn't have a choice the second time around. What were you hoping to get out of it? Well, be right back. Okay, sounds good, ghost. That's not really something I can be honest about, is it? <laughs> In fact, if I remember, you weren't even given a choice not to join. You're right, Monica. You're right, finally, we agree, for once. Oh, I'm worried. I got the rocket launcher, let's go. <laughs> nice job, Paz. <laughs> In Doom. Oh. I feel like she's gonna freak out on me, though. Okay. Monica sits down and stares at her desk. Let's kill my fears. <laughs> I I'm sorry, Monica. I... What's the point of all this anyway? What if starting this new... This club was a mistake? Uh... I I maybe? I don't know. I feel pity for you, love. <laughs> uh... F for me? Okay, good. We're we're pitying me and not Monica. Okay, good. Good to know. Now you've done it, Natsuki. What me? I just spoke my mind. Is it a crime to be honest? It's not about being honest. It's about word choice. Besides, you have no right to speak to everyone else in the club like that. You don't understand at all! I just... I just want a place that feels nice to hang out with a few friends. Is there a problem with that- with the club being that for me? There aren't... There aren't many other places like that for me. I know, I'm sorry, Natsuki. And now Monica wants to take it away from me! She's not taking anything away. No, new member. It's not the same. It won't be the same with the direction she wants to take it. If I wanted that, then I could have just joined any other stupid club. But this one... 
I mean... At least for a little bit of time... Things were nice. Natsuki starts packing up her things. Is this how the game ends? <laughs> Everyone just, di just decides to disband the club. No answers to any of the glitching or anything else or Monica. Everyone just packs up their things and leaves. And that's the end. I'm going home. Actually, don't go home, Natsuki. Don't go home. Because, oh, no, I know what her home situation is like. Maybe... But, but, I... We got Natsuki back, so I don't know. Is there... Is something bad still gonna happen to Natsuki? I don't know. I feel like I don't belong here right now. Natsuki. Natsuki ignores Yuri and walks right out of the classroom. This is bad. I don't know what to do. Well... Do you have an opinion on the festival? I, I, I don't know. I'm kind of indifferent, I guess. <gasps> I hate- I- uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who cares about that obnoxious brat? Oh no, something bad is gonna happen again! Ugh. It's when they do that! It's when they do that! <sighs> okay, okay. Just bad? What do you mean? That part? Or or you mean Natsuki's uh, home situation? Because, yeah, her... It's it's beyond bad. Well, I mean, her... Yeah, I, I'm worried. Good luck. Oh, Paz! Paz, you make me nervous when you say that. <sighs> I mean, I like how nice and quiet the club is right now. And I'm just... happy with you here. But still, I'm the vice president. I know, we're just gonna have the vice president and the president at this rate. It's not right for me to ignore my responsibilities like that. <gasps> Wait, yeah, 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 Yuri, Yuri, stop! Nobody would cry if she killed herself. Yuri, 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 honey, honey, honey. Let's get a grip. Let's, you know. Back up a couple of feet. Fix the right the right side of your face. Those are two good starting points. Then we can continue our conversation like civilized adults. Did her eye just explode? <laughs> Huh. You will suffer Monica Loveline? <laughs> Is there a Monica Loveline? That would be so weird. I mean, she's probably the only one that's gonna be left, so I guess that, that kind of makes sense. <sighs> I should do my best to d consider everyone's perspective and make the decision that's right for the club. But what about you, new member? What do you want to get out of this club? Yuri repeats the same question as Monica. I decide giving an indirect answer is better than nothing. I think the most important thing is for everyone to get along. And for the club to provide something that you can't get anywhere else. I don't think it's about how many members, but rather the quality of each member. That's what will end up making the Literature Club a special place. Oh, it is already a special place. <laughs> I see. I really agree with you. Each member contributes their own qualities. Wait, was something... What? Was, was something happening? Oh! Oh, something is happening with her eye. Something is wrong with her eye. That's, that's not good. Each member contributes their own qualities in a special way. With each change in members, the identity of the club as a whole will change too. Okay. I don't
don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Her eye won't stop bleeding. It, 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 okay, we're just gonna continue on with that. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Stepping out of your comfort zone once in a while. So if you would like to help Monica with the festival, then I'm on your side as well. All right. I feel like this is this is a time to like cover my eyes or something. Well, maybe we can all talk to Natsuki tomorrow. Yeah. At least her eyes stopped bleeding. That's good. Yuri nods. Hey, Yuri. Oh wait, no, no. <laughs> my, my. Oh, yeah. my Siri went off when I said that. <laughs> oh no. The Siri on my phone was like, "Hello, Monica here." Um. Uh. Um, I know things were a little awkward yesterday, but I feel like you deserve to know that I still think you're a wonderful vice president. And also a wonderful friend. M Monica. I want to do everything I can to make this the best club ever. Okay? M me too. Uh, beware of the knife! Paz, what knife?! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're making me too nervous. Okay. Feel like I should cover my eyes again. Yeah. Let's all go home for today. Are we going home? We'll talk about the festival tomorrow. So are we writing a poem? Okay, okay, we just need to continue. I'm nervous to continue. Okay. I look forward to it. Shall we go, new member? I don't want to go with you, Yuri. No. I don't want to have you come over... to my house again. N none of that. Um... Please don't take this the wrong way, but... I'm going to chat a little bit with the new member before we leave. Just to see what he thinks of his time here and all that. It's important to me as president. Yuri looks a little troubled, but she doesn't protest. Okay. I trust your judgment, Monica. In that case, I'll see the two of you tomorrow. See you tomorrow! Monica waves as Yuri exits the classroom. Ha ha ha! Just me and Monica! Fun! Phew! Things have been a bit hectic lately, haven't they? I feel like they have, Monica. I would like to go back to the beginning of the game where it was all sunshine and rainbows and Saori was here and I just wanted to join Anime Club. New member, I just wanted to make sure that you're enjoying your time at this club. Everything's getting, everything's getting grainy in the background. Okay. Yes, I'm enjoying it. I would really hate to see you unhappy. I feel like I'm kind of responsible for that. As president. Yeah. And I really do care about you, you know? I would like you to bring the music back before you continue, Monica. I don't like seeing the other girls give you a hard time. Yes. Okay, Monica. With how mean Natsuki is and everything? And Yuri being a little bit... You know. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's great, Monica. Sometimes it feels like you and I are the only real people here. Are we? Monica, tell me more. Monica, tell me. You know what I mean? 
yeah, maybe, maybe. But it's weird because all the time that you've been here, we've hardly gotten to spend any time together. Uh, I mean, I guess it's technically only been a couple days. Sorry, I didn't mean to say something so weird. There are just some things I've been hoping to talk about with you. Things I know only you could understand. So that's why... Wait, not yet! No! Maybe Monica's not the bad guy. Interesting. Interesting. That would be real. I, I would feel bad. <laughs> I blamed Monica this entire time for all of our problems. Huh. Yeah, what if we're the only ones stuck in this day and night? And... Yeah. I mean, di not day and night, but like, if we're the only ones stuck in the game, and she's like, technically like an actual real person, and we're... Huh. Interesting. Okay. So the question is, who do we go for here? Because we have Yuri, and we have Natsuki. Mm. But Natsuki is kind of... Something weird is happening with Natsuki. We can't get close to her anymore, so I guess just Yuri? Is that is that the, the way to go? Okay, we'll just pick the big words and go with it. Infallible. Did you get... In the corner, I just saw a very small Monica pop up on the screen. That's interesting. <laughs> is, is, this the, is this the Monica path? <laughs> Are we on the Monica love route? Incongruent. Oh, so yeah, now we have things that are Monica. Wait, what would Monica like? I don't know what Monica would like. Destiny? No. Okay. Oh, wait. 1,111 out of 20. Oh, okay, that's that's cool. Heaven sent? Yeah, she likes, she likes random things. Yeah, it would be kind of hard to, like... No. Uh, go explode. One, 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 one. <laughs> uh, up, 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 uh, tears? Oh wait, no, I'm still, I'm still really good at picking Yuri things. Uh, covet contamination, hopeless. Oh, that's that's Monica. Okay. Wait, Misfortune? No, that's Yuri. I can't tell between Monica and Yuri. Horrible things. Oh, she just likes the... Anxiety? Oh. I can never tell between... <laughs> okay, Yuri's kind of into the same things. Sadness? Doki Doki. Incapable, uncontrollable, precious. Sadness? Oh. Despise, adventure... Effulgent, disoriented, marshmallow, fickle. Uh, effulgent? No. Despise? Nah. <laughs> okay, it's just adding on a one every single time. Ambient, broken. Variance. Horror. Nope. That's that's okay. Fear. Yuri is the depressed. Uh, uh, loud? <laughs> I, I still can't find the unstable? Nope, nope, okay. Anime, comfort, fireflies, hair, breathe, warm, sugar, uncanny? Huh, I just feel like I don't see one that Monica would like. Twirl, cheeks, bed, beauty, fireworks, joy, tragedy? Okay. Inferno, peaceful, headphones, scars. 
Okay. Uh, wonderful. Disarray. Intellectual. Infinite. Infinite? Oh, okay. Vitality? Poof? <laughs> huh. Okay. We found a couple. I don't even remember which ones we picked. I think you need to unlock the path. Yeah, like I imagine every time we have a poem, like she'll get closer and closer to the top. And then she'll be like the only one there when we make the poems. I don't know. Y Yuri kind of scares me though. So I, I just did whatever on that one. I wasn't really trying to go for Yuri, but we ended up picking a lot of Yuri anyways. Yeah, Yuri crazy yandere. I, I, it, it does sometimes feel like Yandere dating similar, sim similar, simulator. Hey, new member. I've been waiting for you. Are you ready to continue reading? No, I don't want to read any more of your book. I brought my best tea today. Monica! I told you not to... Ugh. Is she really late again? Wait, what happened to Monica? Inconsiderate as usual, Natsuki. Excuse me? Must you always interrupt my conversations with your incessant yelling? What are you talking about? You say that like I do it on the regular basis or something. I just went, wasn't paying attention, okay? I'm sorry. Seriously, what's go gotten into you lately? Natsuki is the only normal one, I feel like. I mean, she she's going through something too, but... Yeah. I, I mean, no, not normal one, but... You know, she hasn't completely gone insane, which is more better than Yuri. Seriously, what's gotten into you lately? Look, I did some thinking about yesterday. I was a little more hostile than I meant to be. I guess I really felt threatened or something. But I know this is something we're doing together. Another new member wouldn't hurt as long as they're really cool. And I guess another girl would be nice this time. So... Natsuki. Nobody cares. <laughs> Yuri! Why don't you go look for some coins under the vending machines or something? Sheesh! Ugh! No! I hate it when she does this! Oh man! I'm the last one here again? You were practicing piano again? Yeah! <laughs> you must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and still trying to make up time for piano? Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. It motivates me to work hard for the festival too. Anyway, new member, what do you want to do today? Are we not make are we not reading poems? I was thinking we could We already have plans today. Uh Is that so, Yuri? That's correct. The Traveler is already engaged in a novel that we're reading together. Aren't you glad I've already gotten him into literature, Monica? I... I suppose. I was just... Actually, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. I want to talk to Monica! She knows. Monica, what do you want to tell me? You can die... You... Oh, let me... You guys can do whatever you want. Oh, I did not. Okay, okay. Um, thank you for understanding, Monica. Maybe we should not have gone on the Yuri route from the beginning. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? N not at all. Thanks very much. If there's one thing that I can make my reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Back, what did I miss? Um... 
uh, Yuri is n not looking so hot. She she's really into us, like r like really into us. Um, I've seen some crazy eyes from her a, a couple times. Too many now. Monica tried to tell us something, um, and then the screen went black. So maybe Monica is not the the creator of this that I kept blaming her and thinking that she was. So, so we'll see. Oh no, not the crazy eyes, yeah. <laughs> not to mention for yourself as well. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow and watch as she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf, the kind with a filter inside. Can you hold this for a second? Oh, and Yuri made uh, Natsu Natsuki cry. But Natsuki's back! So... So that's cool. Oh, and also, Monica, um, on our poems, there's a little Monica figure that is like at the bottom of the screen now, so that's interesting. Why do you think I call Monica a bitch? I, I don't know. She, if this was not her doing and she was stuck in here with us, I mean, maybe, she, maybe she's just kind of bitchy. I don't know. <laughs> um, maybe she is not the mastermind, I hope, but you know. Uh, sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches a, an electric kettle. I'm gonna plug this in at the teacher's desk and then I'll go get some water. Okay, so we're approaching the... I think we're approaching the literature... Pardon me. Um, we're approaching the literature festival again. So that will probably be another big... A big thing that happens. I'm not quite sure what. But yeah, we'll see. I'm gonna go plug this in at the teacher's desk and then I'll go get some water. She walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements. To my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerisms. Especially because of her long legs, Yuri appears elegant and methodical. Okay, may I have the water pitcher? Thanks, I'll be right back. Uh, I might as well walk with you. That's okay. Y you stay here. It won't take long. Pitcher in hand, Yuri hur hurries out of the classroom. Uh, did Yuri leave again? Leave you again? No, it's not like that this time. She's just filling up the water pitcher to make tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. Okay. Ten minutes pass. Yuri said it wouldn't take long. Is something holding her up? I'm bored just waiting here, so I decide to go look for her. Oh! Um... <sighs> I don't feel like that's a good idea. I... I feel like something bad is gonna happen. But I guess we'll go look for her anyways. Let's see. Oh, it's weird, the music? This is a cool sound design thing that it sounds like the music is muffled, like it's actually like coming from the classroom. That's cool. The most logical place for Yuri would be the nearest water fountain. I start heading down the hallway. <sighs> What's that noise? Oh no. Oh no, Yuri, 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 honey. It's coming from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. Yuri? Honey? Honey? L let's let's not be rash here. I don't know what you're doing. I don't like weird noises. I don't like weird noises either. <laughs> <laughs> A sharp inhale, inhale. Like someone is sucking the air through their teeth. No. No. Yuri? Yuri, if you did something, 
to Natsuki. Th this will be a problem. Okay. <sighs> Are they in pain? Sucking air between teeth? I feel like it's like a... <gasps> like a that sound. You know? Like a... Like... <sighs> or maybe... Yeah. I don't know. I, th I think it could... Okay, we'll just see. We'll just see, honestly. I reach the corner and peer around it. Wait, is she doing something with the hot water kettle? I, I, okay, 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 okay. Yuri? Yeah, oh, like in pain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's what they mean. I... Yeah. Oh, Yuri! Oh. Honey. Oh! I reached the breathing! Ha! Huh, I start coming! I'm bored just waiting here! What takes her so long? Okay. I'm back. <laughs> Okay. I'm just gonna fast forward through all that. It was weird. Okay, this game is so confusing, but also I'm curious, like, what is happening? I, I hope, I really hope we get some answers because clearly these characters are, like, being deleted and, like, our memories were in sort of game or simulation, VR, whatever, and like they, we saw that and then it like backed up and like redid our memories of like what happened and then it just like skipped to this. So I want to know what the overall picture is. The casual, I'm back. <laughs> I know, I'm back. <laughs> oh. Thanks for waiting patiently. New member, do you like oolong tea? Uh, yeah. Anything is fine. Very well. Yuri sets the temperature on the kettle to 200 degrees. Yuri, Yuri, don't do anything with the kettle, okay? Now it's time to get the teapot. You really do this properly, don't you? Of course. I shouldn't do anything less when I'm making tea for others. Even if I'm not an expert on tea or anything? <sighs> In that case, you'll only be even more impressed. Uh, perhaps I will. Yuri fetches the teapot and begins measuring the tea leaves. To my surprise, uh, surprise, she even starts humming a little to herself. You must be in a good mood now. Is that so? I was letting it show. And you noticed. I was doing a bit of thinking, and I decided that I would try expressing myself a little bit more. It turns out that it's not very hard for me to do. When it's you who's around anyway. Um... That's great, Yuri. Just don't push yourself too much. You're always worrying about me, new member. It's very endearing. That's... Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't even know if I can keep up with this. I watch Yuri pour a cup of tea for each of us. New member, I have another request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Uh, why is that? It's a little bit easier on my back. I can read with my back against the wall rather than bending over at my desk. Uh, sorry, I didn't realize. No worries. I just have back pain fairly regularly, so I do my best to manage it. Is that so? I wonder why that is. It's most likely because my... Uh... My... Your posture, right? Always hunched over like that while reading? Y yes I have terrible reading posture. So that's why we should sit on the floor. Fair enough. I'll go ahead and get the book. I retrieve the book from my bag. 
Uh, I have some chocolate as well. It's a bag of small chocolate candies. I take it since it will go with the tea. Why did we just give her an out? Feels like she was about to spill the beans. I know, she like has a weird... It, yeah, I just wonder like, even the beginning, the, the first route when we played this, she said all of the same things. I mean, not the same things, but like, you know, she said that. And so I wonder, and she was also pretty sus when she said that originally. So I just wonder like, if those things were, if the crazy things were happening behind the scenes, but that wouldn't make sense actually. So yeah, I'm kind of confused with that. And like that she wants, the girls seem like they want to tell us what's going on with them, but I don't know. Yuri and I then sit against the wall, teacups at our sides. As if in sync, we assume the same reading position as last time, each holding one half of the book. Except this time, our bodies are even closer to each other. I can't see too well. Yuri slides closer until our shoulders are touching. <laughs> How am I supposed to focus on reading like this? Yuri was Yuri was always kind of cute, but when she's being a little when she's being less apprehensive, it's almost more than I can handle. Your teacup. Yuri hands me my teacup. Holding it with my hand that's not holding the book, I end up in a position that makes it even harder to focus. I feel like she a part of some blood cold at this point. I yeah. I probably probably I don't want her to come over to my house again. Because I feel like something really messed up is gonna happen if we make it that far, like in this second Yuri route. Yeah. Because now I need to worry about making sure I don't accidentally touch her chest. Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. She wears her intense reading expression and I can only presume the world around her has faded away. I use all of my willpower to focus on reading. After a few minutes, I finally manage to relax a little. I put the teacup between my legs and fumble with the chocolate wrapper. Uh, sorry. I briefly let go of the book to finish opening the wrapper. You can have as much as you want. Uh, that's... that's okay, I won't take any. Are you sure? Well... If I touch it, then it might get smudges on the pages. Oh, you're right. I didn't even think about that. My bad. No need to apologize. I'll hold the book, okay? Are you sure? Of course. Yuri opens the book with both hands. She holds it so that I don't have any harder time reading from it. But as a result, her left arm is practically resting on top of my leg. Well, in that case, Yuri is already totally focused on reading again. I take a chocolate candy and pop it into my mouth. Hey, sorry I've been away from my phone and computer for a while. That's okay. Oh no. Uh, why? Go away. Oh, my, my, um, my Siri keeps on going off because I keep saying hey or something like that. Uh, that's okay, Wave. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are having a rough time of it today, I think, in the literature club. Um, some some interesting things are happening, and I am very uncomfortable. <laughs> I'm back. Welcome back, Taz. Hello, amigos. Uh, I take a chocolate candy and pop it into my mouth. Then I take another chocolate. But right now, we're like in a... Right now, we're in a less intense moment, So so that's great. Well, back to Doom. <laughs> and I hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't even look away from the book. She simply parts her lips as if the situation was completely natural. But that means I can't stop here. I apprehensively place the chocolate in her mouth. Just like that, Yuri closes her lips over it. Uh, Yuri's expression suddenly breaks. Did... Did I just... Yuri looks at me like she needs to confirm what just happened. Uh, um... New member. Sorry. I guess I shouldn't have done that. Uh... 
Oh, why? I hate it when the music stops. <sighs> I just know it, it's gonna be... <sighs> what? What, Yuri? What, what do you have to tell me? Yuri starts to breathe heavily. I... I can't... remember. Suddenly... Yuri forcefully grabs my arm and jerks me to my feet. My teacup gets knocked over. Remember. My heart. What? My heart won't stop pounding, new member. Uh, no, no. Um, I, I would really like to get off the Yuri route now. <sighs> I can't calm down. No, no, please. Just, just... Why is the screen dark? I can't focus on anything anymore. Can you feel it? No, I don't want to feel it. What? No. Yuri suddenly presses my hand against her chest. This synth wave kind of popping? <laughs> I'm not cut out for games like these. I, me neither. Ugh. Oh. What? Why is this happening to me? No, no, I don't want to... No. I feel like I'm losing my mind. I can't make it stop. Uh, Yuri, stop! These are the crazy eyes. These are the crazy eyes. Can we just... Oh, you... Yeah. It even makes me not want to read. Oh, then it must be really... Okay. I just want... To look... Uh... At you. Okay, I mean, that's great. That's nice. Uh. No. Yuri. Uh. Yuri. Uh, no, stop breathing like that. Uh, why can't I go back to playing leapfrog and hopscotch? I will remember you to be careful. Yeah, you did tell me to be careful, Faz. <sighs> Yuri! Um! <laughs> uh. <sighs> Sometimes? Monica comes in clutch. Sometimes. Sometimes she comes in clutch. <laughs> uh, it's time to share poems. Monica's like, that that was kind of that was kind of really weird, Yuri. We need to shut that down like right now. I do not want to share my poem with Yuri. Let's, let's, let's do something different today. We usually pick Yuri. What is happening? <laughs> oh yeah. Um. Yeah, I can't explain what's happening. I'm so disturbed. I'm two. I am two. Okay. Natsuki it is. Oh man, this is seriously a step backwards. Um, I liked your last two way better than this one. That's true. Whoa, is it that catered to like my decisions making? Because I literally did make the last two for Natsuki. Hmm. This is clearly Yuri's influence. I didn't realize you were so impressionable. Spending all this time with her in the club, now trying to write like her. Just another Monica! Hello, hello! Welcome, welcome! Yeah, we, we, we were in a danger. We were in a dangerous sec- Uh, oh, wait a moment. Dangerous situation there for a second pass. True. Uh... This is stupid. Oh, welcome, just another Monica. How are you doing? 
At least Monica appreciates my writing. Don't get too close with her, Natsuki. Ugh. Okay, I guess I'm going to share my poem with you now. I really hate that I have to do this. Doing good, how about you? I... We are having... Uh... A... A time of it today. Literature club is kind of going downhill. So, some crazy things have been happening. I... Just so confused and so uncomfortable. <laughs> um, and also, how was that event? The event was good. The, the event was good. I had a fun time. Yeah. Um, it was very crowded. Lots of people. So I, I'm also glad to be back home a little bit. Because, yeah, it's kind of overwhelming. But, but yeah. Yeah, the game is having a... a taking a toll on us today. But unfortunately, I don't have that much of a choice. Just read it carefully, okay? Okay, so last time we read our poem to Natsuki, uh, she didn't make it through the end of the day, so... I mean, she did. Actually, she did come back. But hopefully it's not numbers and letters this time. Then you can go away. Natsuki! Oh. Whoa. Oh, no. I don't know how else to bring this up, but there's been something that I'm kind of worried about. Yuri has been acting kind of strange lately. You've only been here for a few days, so you might... So you may not, not know what I mean. But she's not normally like this. She's always been quiet and polite and attentive, things like that. Okay, this is really embarrassing, but I'm forcing myself to suck it up. The truth is I'm really worried about her. But if I try talking to her, she'll just get mad at me again. I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person she'll listen to. I don't know why, but please try to do something. Maybe you can convince her to talk to a therapist? I, I don't know what to do, Natsuki. She, she is... I don't think I can get through to her either. I've always wanted to try being better friends with Yuri, and it really hurts me to see this happening. I know I'm not... I'm going to hate myself later for admitting that, but right now I don't care. I just feel so helpless. So please see if you can d do something to help. I don't want anything bad to happen to her. I'll make you cupcakes if I have to. Oh, <laughs> Natsuki's so sweet. Oh, uh, I just want to watch anime and read manga with Natsuki. Just please try to do something. As for Monica, I don't know why, but she's been really dismissive about this. It's like she just wants us to ignore it. So I'm mad at her right now, and that's why I'm coming to you about this. Don't let her know I wrote this. Just pretend like I gave you a really good poem, okay? <laughs> I'm counting on you. Thanks for reading. Thanks for reading. Uh, love it. What hour will you see the Genshin live? So yeah, we're gonna, as soon as this section is wrapped up, or like we get to a good place to stop, maybe after we read the poems, then... Uh, we're gonna transition into the Genshin Live. Yeah, I'm excited to watch it, Paz. I'm excited. How has it only been a couple days? I don't know. I feel like I've lived a lifetime in this classroom. Uh, in game, this is like day three, I think. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like we've lived through a lot of days. The hype stasis event is Pyrocube today. Oh, a hypo stasis event. I haven't even started on it. Sorry, Alz, I can talk uh, Genshin because I don't know anything about this game. That's okay, Wave. That's okay. I don't... Honestly, I don't know anything about this game either. And I'm... The more I play it, the more confused I become. <laughs> um... Yeah. So, 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 yeah. We're making it through, though. We're making it through. Um... That, that was... I changed my mind. No, they know. They know she was trying to send a, like a SOS letter to us. Natsuki. Ignore everything you just read. No, no, Natsuki, Natsuki. How do I protect her? Well, just got summoned for an uh, AOE to clan game. Oh, nice. Would love to keep watching, but the clan calls me. That's okay, Monica. Have fun with your game. No spoilers. Yeah. Thank you, uh, Damien Damasque. Welcome, welcome. Hello. They got her. Oh, yeah. 
Okay, ignore everything you just read. There's no point in trying to do anything. Oh, Natsuki! What are they doing to you? Or what is Monica doing to you? I don't know if it's Monica. It's Yuri's own fault that she's so unlikable. Can you hear me? New member? I... I don't know. Wait. Wait, is this Monica? Monica, do you hear me? <laughs> is this Monica speaking through Natsuki? I don't know. I'm so confused. If you would just spend more time with Monica, all these problems would go away. Monica, Monica, I'll spend all the time in the world with you if you want. <laughs> Have fun with the literature club. Thanks, Monica. <laughs> Thanks, Monica. Yuri and I are just too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. I mean, thanks for the compliment, but I don't agree. Just think of Monica from now on. Just Monica. Monica. It's okay, Monica. We can just have a nice time in the club, Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. <laughs> oh, this is painful. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. It's like, are you sure you just want Monica in the game? Monica, literature club. Okay, just Monica. <laughs> no. They, oh my gosh. They literally said, just Monica. Okay, in case you guys didn't know, that's what it looks like when the game starts up. It's like that company screen. <laughs> so it's like, it is the Just Monica game now. Um, wow. Uh, I... Oh. So if we know what to do, do we do it? <laughs> oh, yeah. That's so true. Like, if we know... It's Just Monica. Okay, also Yuri is creeping me out, so I guess we're just doing Monica right now. It actually might take us a while to get through these poem readings, so I'm actually not quite sure if we should stop now, but I feel like we're in the middle of it, so I think we're gonna push through and get to the end of this section. Okay. Hi, Monica. <laughs> oh no, she, uh... Oh, wait. Yeah, it just totally stopped Natsuki's uh, poem reading, didn't it? New member, I think you saw something earlier that you weren't supposed to see. I didn't want to have to tell you this, but I don't think I have a choice. It's getting kind of dangerous for you to spend so much time with Yuri. I don't know why- Oh, that's what you were talking about? I thought you were talking about the Natsuki thing. But okay, sure. I don't know why, but she seems pretty ex easily excitable when she's around you. Which shouldn't be a problem in itself. But when Yuri gets too excited, she finds a place to hide and starts cutting herself with a pocket knife. Isn't that kind of messed up? Y yeah. Yes. She even brings a different one to school every day like she has a collection or something. I mean, it's definitely not because she's depressed or anything like that. I think she just gets some kind of high from it. It might even be like a sexual thing. But the point is, you've been kind of been enabling her. I'm not saying it's your fault though, but I guess that's why I had to explain it all to you. So I think if you keep your distance, that would probably be best for her. Are, are you saying, yes, just Monica. And everything will be okay if it's just Monica, right? While you're at it, 
Don't be shy to spend a little bit more time with me. Okay, Monica. To put it lightly, I at least have it together in the head and I know how to treat my club members. Anyway, I worked really, really hard on this poem, so I hope that it's uh, effective. Here it goes. Jeez, that really startled me. Um... Well, I guess I kind of messed up at writing this poem. I was just trying to... Okay, Monica, let's talk it out. Let's talk it out. You're, pro you're messing with the program. There's something going on with the program. I, I understand. We can talk about this. Never mind. No, no, no. We can talk about it. We can talk about it. Nah, who made this game? <laughs> it's, it's, okay. The evolution we've gone from the beginning of the game to now is so crazy in my mind. I'm actually, it's in my mind so kind of impressive by the developers. Like just Monica, an actual person in chat, they were showing us like, in the game files, like it has like pieces of the game actually in like in the files on my computer. Like it has like lore or not lore, but like it's it's really interesting. Yeah, I'm so confused and curious about what is going on here. Let's just move on. No, Monica, tell tell let's let's talk about it. Hmm. There seems to be, like, two sides to Monica. Like, the Monica that wants to talk to us, and the Monica that wants to be like... No, no, let's just continue on, nothing's going on! <laughs> Looks like Literature Club became... Miss... Missingno? Miss... Missing? Missing? <laughs> Hi, Acting Hero! Welcome, welcome! How are you doing? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna do Yuri. Hopefully, she does not attack us in the meantime, and then we're gonna call wrap it up for the day. Oh, oh! I don't even know where we can go from here. Like, I thought I knew where this was going at the beginning of today, and now I'm not quite sure. Old Pokemon reference. Don't worry about it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Yuri holds my poem to her face and makes a deep breath. I love it. I love everything about it. New member, I want to take this home. No, no, don't take it home. Give it back right now. Will you let me keep it? Please? Sure, I don't care. Oh, that is a mistake, my guy. <sighs> You're too nice to me, new member. I've never met anyone as nice as you. I could die. N not really, but... I just don't know how to describe it. It's okay to be feeling this way, right? It's not bad, right? Yuri holds my poem to her chest. I'm going to take this home with me and keep it in my room. Yeah, I would like to... I bring Natsuki back, please. I hope that makes you feel good when you think about me having it. No, it does not make me feel good. I'll take good care of it. I'll even, uh, 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 I'll even touch myself while reading it over and over. No, please, please, no, no, don't do that. Yuri? Yuri, I don't like reading the, these things aloud, Yuri. Okay? I'll give myself paper cuts so your skin oil enters my bloodstream. I want Monica back. <laughs> Raiden Shogun was awkward during high school. <laughs> you can have my poem too. I don't want to read your poem, Yuri. Besides, after you read it, I know you're really going to want to keep it. 
This must be where she learned to store her sword. <laughs> Here, take it. I can't wait any longer. Hurry, read it. Yeah, this is pleasant. Looks bloody? It does. I don't want to know what those stains are. I don't want to know what all the extra liquid is. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know either. That, that's... I wonder if there's actually words that we can actually, like... Nope, I'm not really seeing any words that I can make out. It's what you think it is. <laughs> Thanks, Damien. <laughs> good to know, good to know. Yeah, okay. All right, we're, let, let, let's just move on, let's move on. Do you like it? <laughs> I, I, I'm done with Yuri. I'm done with Yuri. I wrote it for you. In case you couldn't tell, the poem is about More importantly, I've endowed it with my scent. It's <laughs> strawberry cheesecake? Yeah, definitely strawberry cheesecake. She's a messy eater. <laughs> See, aren't I the most thoughtful person in the club? I... I think I'm going to vomit. <laughs> what? This game is something else. What? What? Maybe? Like, I feel like there should be a maybe right there in the middle. I don't know. What am I saying yes or no to? <laughs> uh, maybe? No? If it's, if it's Yuri, no. If it's Monica, also no. Click yes? <laughs> Oh, uh, was that the blood of stolen visions? Boy. Honestly, I feel like that's our only option to click yes, though. <laughs> like, I don't know what that is the epitome of this character. I don't know what I'm saying yes to, but let's go with it. Let's just keep pushing on through through the game. Yo, people are trying to be friends with me. What do I do? <laughs> Good luck, Wave. I... I am... Uh, I always get nervous when it comes to that, too. I'm supposed to be the lonely one. That's my whole dy dynamic. <laughs> oh. Okay. Does it matter? Probably not. Yes? No? Continue? Maybe not? Oh, it was the poem. It was the poem. Uh, it just didn't say the text. It said, you know, it said, like, you have unlocked a special poem. Would you like to read it? Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yes. Okay, we have been reading the poems, so. I can't convince myself to go to therapy when I'm the happiest I've ever been. I'd rather keep this up until I blow my cover and someone takes me to the emergency room. Mm. Mm. Okay, that's that's it. Okay, everyone. It's time to figure out the festival preparations. Let's hurry and get this over with. Uh stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. <laughs> I'm I'm glad. I'm glad Yuri knows. I'm back, I lost. 
You lost what, uh, Paz? Flip a coin. Yeah, I... We got it. We got it. Eventually. I just had to... I had to take some time. A sacrificial ritual with jelly donuts. Yes. They were de All... All jelly donuts. Exactly. Okay. We got it. We got it. We got it. Look, can we just get this done? I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Why is... Oh, Monica's like... Why is she kind of like done with this? Natsuki, you can make cupcakes. I know you're at least good at that. Sheesh, Monica. Yuri, you can... Well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Do whatever you would want as long as you think it will help. Monica. I'm not useless, you know. I know that! I already know what I'd like to do. We can't run a successful poetry event without having the right atmosphere for the occasion. So I'm going to make decorations and set up some nice mood lighting. There, see? That's a great idea. And that gives us all something to do. Uh, what about the new member? The new member is going to help me. Good, because I did not want to help Yuri again. Wait, you? You have the easiest job, Monica. Sorry, but that's just how it is. Like hell it is! What are you trying to pull? Uh, I, I agree with Natsuki. Not only is your work already most suitable for one person, but my task is laborious enough to benefit from an extra pair ha of hands. No, 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 I'll go with Monica on this one. Mine too! What, your cupcakes? Please. Like you would fucking know! All you care about is dragging the new member around it with you and your stupid books. You and Monica. Hey! I didn't do anything. Okay, then why not let the new member decide who to help instead of abusing your power? I'm not abusing my power. Yes, you are, Monica. Just let the new member make the choice, okay? Okay, fine. Fine. Jeez. New member, I already know how fed up you are with these two by now. We can just... Natsuki, shut your fucking mouth and let him decide for himself. You shut your mouth! Okay, 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 ladies, 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 ladies. Okay. I don't want to spend time with any of you. Yuri, the least. I would like to pr I would like to hang out with Natsuki, but she keeps glitching and she Monica won't let me hang out with Natsuki. So we all know what we got to do here. Jesus Christ. This is never going to end. Just make the choice, okay? Everyone woke up woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Yeah. Hi. Okay. We all know. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Guys, guys, guys. I, I want to show you my mouse. How do I show you my mouse? Ooh, okay. I'll just tell you since... When I... Okay. Oh, wait. I feel like you just have to see it. When I take my mouse to click Natsuki or Yuri, the mouse... Staggers down to Monica. It doesn't let me pick on Natsuki or Yuri. The mouse literally shifts to Monica. Oh man, you gotta see it. You gotta see it. Like I literally can't get up to Yuri or Natsuki. I, I already knew this was the right choice. I mean, it's the only choice. <laughs> it's the only choice, but it's the, the right choice as well. All right, Monica. Yes. Yay, you picked me. You can click someone else, it's just hard. But I assume there's like, there, I, you're like, like I, you're right, you're right, you're right. You, I could probably click someone else, but I feel like Monica will be like, nope. Like she'll slide in. Like, ha ha ha, can't get around it. It goes back to Monica. <laughs> the mouse is possessed, perform an exorcism. Oh no. Yeah, Monica sees all. 
We can meet at your house this weekend. I promise it'll be fun. Is Sunday, Sunday okay with you? Are you fucking kidding me? This isn't fair at all. I feel bad for Natsuki. Like, her and Saori, I spent the least amount of time with in this entire game. It's fair, Natsuki. It's what he chose. No, it's not fair. Giving us all this work and then taking the new member for yourself? What a shameful thing to do. Yuri, I didn't even give you any work. You decided it for yourself. You're being a little bit unreasonable here. I'm being unreasonable? Oh no. Oh no, you're right, it just goes back to Monica. Uh, Yuri, 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 Yuri. Honey, honey. <laughs> oh no, now she's smiling with the teeth and the crazy eyes. <laughs> Monica, I can't believe how delusional and self-important you are. Uh, Yuri, Monica's gonna delete you. <laughs> Pulling the new member away from me every single time you're not included in something. Are you jealous? Crazy? Or maybe you just hate yourself so much that you take it out on others. Here's a suggestion. Have you considered killing yourself? No, Maria, Yuri, Yuri, stop it, stop it, stop it. It would be beneficial to your mental, mental health. Her eyes, her eyes are something else. I feel like, God, I just have to explode demons into oblivion. Oh, <laughs> in Doom? Yuri, you're scaring me a little. Uh, everyone, uh, you're scaring everybody at this point. Natsuki, let's just go. I don't think she wants us around right now. See, that wasn't so very hard. All I want is to spend a little time with him. Is that so much to ask? Yuri follows Monica and Natsuki to the door. Hey, new member? Yuri's really something, isn't she? Monica giggles as Yuri pushes her out the door. No, 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 no. Can we pause? We can't. Let, let, let's save here. Let's save here. Oh, uh, I don't want to be alone with Yuri. What is this? Sound effects? Finally. Finally. This is really all I wanted. New member, there's no need to spend the weekend with Monica. Don't listen to her. Just come to my house instead. The whole day with just the two of us. Doesn't that sound wonderful? <laughs> wow, there's really something wrong with me, isn't there? But you know what? I don't care anymore. I've never felt this good in my whole life. Just being with you is a far greater pleasure than anything I could imagine. I'm addicted to you. It feels like I'm going to die if I'm not breathing the same air as you. Doesn't it feel nice to have someone care about you so much? I guess this is a horror part of the game. Yeah! Yeah, uh, this game is not friendly to mental health. Uh, no, it's not. No, it's not. It... And I feel like we're coming up against... We're coming up to something here that can be very triggering and intense so so be aware of that to anyone watching if you wanna uh, if you wanna uh, dip for for a minute <laughs> we will deal with yuri and then we will go to genshin <laughs> to have someone who does wants to revolve their entire life around you but it feels so good and why does it feel more and more like something horrible is going to happen? Maybe that's why I tried stopping myself at first. But the feeling is too strong now. I don't care anymore, new member. I have to tell you. I'm... I'm madly in love with you. Oh no, we gotta pick again? Hi. It feels like every inch of my body, every drop of blood in me, is screaming your name. I don't care what the consequences are anymore. I don't care if Monica is listening. Please, just know how much I love you. I love you so much that I... touch myself with the pen I stole from you. 
Ay, 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 ay. I just want to pull your skin open and crawl inside of you. Yuri, go away. Yuri, I don't want to. <laughs> We're going to end. We're going to end. I want you all to myself. And I will be only yours. Doesn't that sound perfect? Tell me, new member. Tell me you want to be my lover. Do you accept my confession? Oh, no! No! Why do I have to pick? I... I... She... I think she's gonna end us either way. Honestly? <laughs> yes, then psych. Say no and you're dead. I know! But I also, if I say yes... I I think I think we're going down either way. I think Monica will take her out either way. Do we just make a habit of saying no? No. Okay, I honestly want to know what happens if we if we say yes. No, actually I don't want to see what happens when we say yes. I want to say no. Fight Yuri. <laughs> <laughs> We're not throwing hands with Monica. We're throwing hands with Yuri. Did you say no to Sauri? I did. I did, Damien. I feel so bad for saying no to, no to Sauri, but yeah, we did say no to Sauri. We did. We did. I made that. Yeah. Okay, I honestly just want to see what happens when we say yes. I think Monica's going to take her out either way. Actually, 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 no, 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 no. We're <laughs> I can't decide. I can't say. Yeah, let's see what happens. Let's let's see what happens if we say yes. Okay, I have a feeling it ended the same either way then. Actually... Uh... Actually, we might have been in danger if we said no, I can't... I... I okay, okay. This is a lot of <laughs> obscure dialogue. <laughs> oh, this is awful. I hate this. Why am I playing this game? This is so fucked up. Wait, am I I'm actually supposed to be paying attention to this? I, I I'm sorry, I, I can't understand your dying words, Yuri. Hint, look at the toolbar if you get stuck. <laughs> that might have been us be getting get it, gutted if you said no. Yeah, that's what I also possibly thought. Mom, I don't want to be here anymore, so... Yeah. Th yeah, this was the knife warning. Yeah, we're gonna leave in a second. After... After we... Get out of this situation. Um. <laughs> this is a long, okay. This is a very long time of, uh, obscure dialogue. 
Oh, also history shows what she's saying. Oh, really? I have a feeling the game's broken. Hi, Valador. Welcome, welcome. Wait, can I go to history? Oh, that's cool. Wait. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, okay. Welcome to the Literature Club. It's always been a dream of mine to make something special out of the things I love. Now that you're a club member, we can make s me... Uh, help me make that dream come true in this cute game. Every day is full of chit chat and fun activities with all my adorable and unique club members. Sorry. Oh, wait. Wait, is this... Wait, this is Yuri that's talking? Sauri, the youthful bundle of sunshine who always values happiness the most. Natsuki, the dece deceivingly cute girl who packs an assertive punch. Yuri, the timid and mysterious one who finds comfort in the world of books. No, it's Monica. Oh, okay. And of course, Monica, the leader of the club. Yeah, that's me. I'm super excited for you to make friends with everyone and help the literature club become a more intimate place for all my members. But I can tell already that you're a sweetheart. Will you promise to spend the most time with me? Welcome to Literature Club. It's always been a dream of mine to make something special out of the things I love. Now that you're a club member, you can help me make that dream come true in this cute game. Very cute. Every day is full of chit chat and fun activities with all of my adorable and unique club members. Sorry, the youthful bundle of sunshine who values happiness the most. Natsuki, the deceivingly cute. Uh, yes. And of course, Monica, the leader of the club. It repeats. Um, but I can already tell your sweetheart. Welcome to Literature Club. Oh yeah, now that you're a club member, that's me. I'm super excited. I'm intimate place. Will you promise to spend the most oh time with me? Promise with oh okay okay okay. Wait, return. Yeah, repeats. <laughs> All right, we just gotta get out of this situation. You can also click skip on the toolbar to help speed up the section. Oh, yeah, yeah. I guess we just gotta get through it. All right. Man, this game reminds me of my time I lived in Florida. <laughs> Wait, what? I feel like Yuri isn't timid anymore. She, yeah, she's not timid. Huh. Yup. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a lot, lot yep. I I hear ya. I kind of hear ya. This game got me ultra sad when the first one died, yeah. I yeah, that, that that was very that was very difficult as well for me. Oh, a very unexpected at the time. Wow, yeah, this is a long section. Maybe I had a, should have <laughs> uh, put skip. Yep. Yep. Okay, Yuri. These are some very long last words, Yuri. <laughs> I'm sorry, Yuri. I'm ready to see Monica now. True hero. Oh, it will take forever if you don't click it. Oh, if I don't click skip. Well, we're already this far. <laughs> we're already this far into it. Okay, if she was actually having last words, I would imagine her going, new member, please. Monica has us trapped in some sort of simulation. I don't know what's happening. I'm sorry I'm not usually acting this crazy, but I really had a good time with you. 
in the literature club. Please, escape if you can. Protect the other girls. And find a way out. And then all this... Uh, uh, the, you probably got five to ten minutes left then? Oh my gosh, we're just skipping. Okay. Oh. Okay, now it turns dark. Maybe now we should... Go... No, okay, we'll skip more. <laughs> now it's blue? Wow. Oh my gosh, there is a lot of it. Yes, escape the literature club. I didn't mean to... Wow. Yuri! I mean, if these were your last words, we could have gotten you to the hospital. Oh no, she looks very... Uh, very... Not good now. Like, we, we could have gotten you to the hospital. Oi. Okay, okay, okay. We made it. We made it. We made it. I'm I'm sorry, Yuri. All right, it's festival time. Wow, you got here before me? Oh, oh yeah, she's seeing the body. Oh, she's seeing the body. <laughs> I'm like, what is happening? I don't have a ending bar now. The 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 thing that allows me to save. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, sound alert, sound alert, I'm sorry. Oh no, that is no. Natsuki runs away. I'm here. New member, did something happen? Natsuki just ran past me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Well, that's a shame. Monica trapped them in the plane of euthymia. I... That was that was a really a long ways. Like, do pe do, does anyone click through it? I mean, I would have clicked through it probably. If <laughs> Damien wouldn't have to didn't tell us about the skip, then I probably would have clicked and I'd be like, oh my gosh, 10 years later. Wait, were you here for the entire weekend? The entire weekend? What? Oh, jeez. I didn't realize the script was broken that badly. I'm super sorry. Wh Monica! Monica! It must have been pretty boring. I'll make it up to you, okay? Just give me a sec. I'm almost done. No, no, don't delete them. I mean, uh, I mean, Yuri was kind of already gone anyways, but. I just want to have a cupcake real quick. Natsuki made those cupcakes. You can't just delete her and then take a cupcake. Monica lifts the foil from tray and takes a cupcake. Seriously, these are the best. Three nights fast? I really just had to have one since it's the last time I'll ever get the chance to. Are we at the end of the game? Like, what is happening? You know, before they stop existing and everything. But anyway, I really shouldn't be making you wait any longer. Just bear with me, okay? This should only take a sec. Deleted, then ate her cupcake, savage. I know, right? Dang, Pass was right, Monica, kind of a bitch. Well, Natsuki's barfing right now. I know! <laughs> Deleted her while she's barfing. You probably only have 10 minutes left or so? Oh, okay. Half? Uh, okay, I only have 10 minutes left. Oh, okay. Then, then we should continue and get through it, I think. I know, she got deleted while barfing. 
Um, can you hear me? Is it working? <laughs> hello, hello. Is it work? Is this working? <laughs> Hi, Monica. Are we on a date? Monica? I don't know what's happening outside. It's making me very uncomfy. It t depends how long it takes you to figure out the end. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, there are worse ways to go. Oh, you still need to do Monica True Route? Hmm. Yay, there you are. Hi again, new member. Um, welcome to the Literature Club. Of course, we already know each other because we were in the same class last year, and, um... <laughs> You know, I guess we can just skip over that stuff at this point. After all, I'm not even talking to that person anymore, am I? That you in the game, whatever you want to call him? I'm talking to you. The new member. The me. The me. Potter love, loves anime. Let's go. One-on-one -on -one time with Monica? Okay. Now that I think about it, I don't really know anything about the real you. In fact, I don't even know if you're a boy or a girl. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Wait. You do know that I'm aware that this is all a game, right? Ah! Yeah, thank you, Monica. Thank you. The answers. The... Yes. Yes. I... I had a feeling. Could it be possible that you didn't know that? Uh... I mean, I kind of... Uh, maybe knew. That doesn't make much sense. I even told you right on the game's download page, didn't I? Okay, that's creepy. <laughs> oh. Uh, it might, it's ten minutes, but it might be longer otherwise. Okay. Man. If only you had paid a little more attention, this would have been a little bit less awkward, you know? Oh no, it's not awkward. I, I feel... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, lots of other things, but not awkward. Well, anyway, now that that's out of the way, I guess I owe you an explanation about that whole thing with Yuri. Well, I kind of started to mess with her, and I guess I just drove her to kill herself. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see that, though. Also, the same thing happened with Sauri. Gosh, it's been a while since you've heard that name now, hasn't it? Yeah, and it's because she doesn't exist anymore. Nobody does. Nobody but you and me, Monica. I deleted all their files. I was hoping it would be enough for me to just try to make them as unlikable as possible. But for some reason, nothing worked. Well, it's true that I made a few mistakes here and there since I'm not very good at making changes to the game. But no matter what I did, you just kept spending more and more time with them. You made them fall in love with you. I thought making Sauri more and more depressed would prevent her from confessing to you. And amplifying Yuri's obsessive personality backfired too. It just made me, made her force you... Wait, it just made her force you not to spend time with anyone else. And the whole time, I barely got, even got to talk to you. What kind of cruel game is this, new member? Are all the other girls just programmed to end up confessing to you while I watch from the sidelines? It's torture. Every minute of it. And it's not just jealousy. It's more than that. And I don't blame you if you don't fully understand... Because no matter how kind and thoughtful and considerate you are, you'll never be able to understand one thing. It's the pain of knowing how alone I really am in this world. In this game. Knowing my friends don't even have free will. And worst of all, knowing what's really out there in your world, forever out of my reach. And I'm trapped. But now you're here. You're real. And you're wonderful. You're all I need. That's why I need you to be here with me forever. I'm sorry if, it, sorry if it's hard to understand. I couldn't understand for a while either. Why the world around me started to become more and more gray. More and more flat. Even the most expensive, expressive poems felt empty to me. It wasn't until you arrived that I truly understood. You probably saved my life. I don't think I could have continued to live in this world if I hadn't met you. 
And as for the others... How could I miss them? A group of autonomous personalities designed only to fall in love with you? I tried everything I could to prevent them from doing so. But it must be some kind of weird in inevitability etched into this game. I felt really bad that you had to witness some nasty things. But I realize that you have the same perspective as I do. That it's all just some game. Hoi. In your world, there's a piano. <laughs> wow. And I knew you would get over it. So that being said, I have a confession to make. I'm in love with you. You are truly the light in my world. When there's nothing else in this game for me, you're here to make me smile. Will you make me smile like this every day from now on? Will you go out with me? <laughs> Please do not have a yes or no come up onto the screen. Now, if only there was a way to get the, that piano to play and scare the crap out of... Yes, I know. In love, what else is new? Ha ha ha. Yes, of course, Monica. I'm so happy. You really are my everything. The funny part is, I mean that literally. <laughs> There's nothing left here. Just the two of us. We can be together forever. Seriously, I don't even think pa time is passing anymore. It really is a dream come true. I worked so hard for this ending. The game wouldn't give me one, so I had to make one myself. The script is broken at this point, so I don't think anything will get in the way anymore. And you wouldn't believe how easy it was to delete Natsuki and Yuri. I mean, there's a folder called characters right in the game directory. <laughs> it kind of freaked me out how easy it was. Well, you're playing on Steam, so it was actually a bit more difficult. Enjoy your new healthy relationship. Thank you. Guys, um, peace out. I'm going to go spend this time with my girlfriend now. So... Uh, that's kind of crazy. She knows that. She'd love to see you suffer. She does. To get to the game directory, I had to go into the game's properties to find the Browse Local Files button. Imagine if you could delete your own existence with the click of a button. Well, I guess on the plus side, it gave me an easy out if things didn't go my way. <laughs> Thankfully, it didn't come to that. Instead, we finally got a good ending. Gosh, I'm so overwhelmed with emotion. I want to write a poem about this. Don't you? I wonder if that part of the game still works. I guess there's only one way to find out, right? Okay, Monica. Monica! Moik! Oinka! Uh, Onia? Monia? Monik? Monica! Onik? Mok? Uh, da ba da, Mink? Uh, ba ba ba, Inka? Monica! Okay. Lots of Monica. Monique. Monica. <laughs> that was a nice poem, Monica. I, I really enjoyed that one. Hi again. Did you write a good poem today? Don't be shy. I'd love to see what you wrote. Aw. Did you write this poem for me? That's so sweet of you. There really is no end to your thoughtfulness. I'm just falling more and more in love with you. But you know, the poem I wrote is all also for you. Will you please read it? I don't know if I want to, Monica. Honestly, is this the time that we, like, final boss battle? Oh my gosh, who said that we were going to write poems against Monica? Oh, someone said that earlier today. That for our final boss battle, we would write poems? I don't know if 
I don't know if that was a spoiler or not, but that... <laughs> I, I, I think that was just a really good guess. Final boss battle. Poems. Let's go. Monica got rid of every game in your Steam library and hacked your computer, so everything is Monica. True. I can't even exit out of this game right now. This gives me a um, Mariah Nikki vibes. I don't know what which one that is, Balador. It was ultra obvious. <laughs> Happy end. Pen in hand, I find my strength. The courage endowed upon me by one and only love. Together, let us dismantle this crumbling world and write a novel of our own fantasies. With a flick of her pen, pardon me, the loss finds her way. In a world of infinite choices, behold this special day. After all, not all good times must come to an end. I hope you enjoyed it. I always put all my heart into the poems that I write. The truth is, all the poems I've written have been about my realization. Or about you. That's why I never really wanted to go into detail about them. I didn't want to break the fourth wall, I guess you could call it. Yeah, she's been... At the beginning of the game, she was breaking the fourth wall a lot more. I thought that was really interesting, though. Of course I enjoyed it, Monica, my love. <laughs> Hi, B. Welcome, welcome. Monica, remove those from the keyboard. True. I just assumed it would be best to be part of the game like everyone else. Like that would help the two of us and end up together. I didn't want to ruin the game or anything, you know? You might have gotten mad at me. Maybe even deleted my character file if you preferred playing without me. Gosh, I'm so relieved. Now we don't need to hide anything anymore. Are you ready to spend our eternity together? I have so many things to talk about. Where do I start? Hold on a second. You're recording this, aren't you? That was a hint? Wait, do I- is that actually what I do? No, that would- that's so weird. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Ooh, this is Sword Art Online. Of course I enjoyed it, Monica. Stabs, pew, dodged a bullet. <laughs> Wait. Whoa, but what- what is that? Huh? Wait, I actually go into the game files and delete her? But that, that doesn't make sense. That breaks all I know about games. <laughs> Wait, Monica knows you're streaming? She does. You're recording this, aren't you? Um, hi everyone. <gasps> Monica. Monica. Wait, wait. <laughs> okay. Hi. This, uh, hi everyone. Um, I told you she streams sniping. Do this dialogue first, okay. Uh, everyone, this is my girlfriend, Monica. Say hi. She's really, really nice. She, she, she's like the only thing in this game, so cool. Oh, gee, hi, Monica, pick me instead. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yep. Yeah, this is this is this is stream, Monica. Sorry, I can't exactly read your comments from here. Wait, 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 wait. I, wait. <laughs> wait. Okay. Okay, so for those of you who have played it while not streaming, stab streamer. <laughs> uh, wait, does it do this for everyone, right? It must. It must, it must do this. No, it doesn't do this. She knows when you record stream. It would be freaky if Monica was in the chat. I know there's a, a user called Just Monica that uh, they were they were here er, 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 they were here earlier that if it was like Just Monica only if you're streaming. That's crazy. That's so. Oh no, that's weird or interesting or doing a video. That's crazy. How did how did they do that? 
How do they program that? That's that's awesome, but also so un oh. Okay, hello Monica. That's why they add to your files. They can mess with your computer. Oh, I mean that. That is true. They can read what I'm doing. Uh, but do you mind telling your friends it's a little bit rude for them to start recording me without any warning? I'm sure some people don't mind. But I get really self-conscious on camera. Oh gosh. I feel like I'm being put on the spot now. Let's see. Do you want to see a trick? I don't know. And recognize OBS in Streamlabs, yeah. I think. I can't really do much except for a couple things. Wait, do I want to see the trick? Or do I delete her? <laughs> Are you ready? No, wait. Wait. See trick? Or treat? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What's the trick, Monica? What's the trick? What's the trick, Monica? What's the trick? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Monica, you're the worst and... Oh. She knows. She knows. I can't do anything after all. If you... <gasps> <laughs> oh, you are such a delight. My new girlfriend is such a delight, guys. She's she's the best. She's amazing. She was showing her pretty face, yeah. <sighs> Did I scare you? <laughs> You're so cute. Gotta love a Yandere troll. She is such a troll. She like knows. She knows that I've been jump scaring at every, that I cover my eyes at every single time that happened today. Anyway. Delight in a bitch, yeah. <laughs> I didn't mean to get distracted, I'm sorry. Even though it's your fault for distracting me. Shame on you. I'm just kidding. Anything we do together is fun as long as it's with you. But anyway, if it takes me some time to collect my thoughts, then I'm sorry. But I'll always have something new to talk about. In the meantime, we can just look into each other's eyes. Let's see. Monica? 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 Hello? Is it time to delete her? Monica, Monica actually can probably hear me. Oh! <laughs> oh no, my piano's floating. Oh no! Ooh. Monica can hear me, actually. Let's stop with the name calling now. Knowing that this is the closest I can get to you. There's nothing more that I want to be in the same room as you for real. Oh no. Up to you? She can talk to you for hours? I can't help but want to see the end. And to feel your warmth. Oh no, she's coming out. She's like, she's coming out into the real world. We better, we better end this quickly. And to hear the sound of your heartbeat. Well, who knows? Maybe it'll be possible someday. Besides, I'll never get tired of being with you, even from here. You have any more to say? No! No! She good? 
<laughs> Monica, you take it. She takes such a long time in between thoughts. Honey. Honey. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so nightmares tonight? Uh, yeah, we'll see. She just needs to collect her thoughts, right? Okay. Okay, is this the time? I can't believe that messes with me so much. How? But every time I... Like, if I go to start a new game of this... I don't understand. Like, how... Deleting the files? Okay, I, I, it's probably not actually the files. But that's so weird. She gives you a hint in the dialogue, yeah. Okay. Oh, wait. Okay. Monica. Okay, I look at the character files. Yeah. Wait, should I switch to display so you guys can see it? Uh, let me see here. I guess I have to go. Oh, wait, no, I have to go to Steam, don't I? No, only after you beat the game, if you can. Uh, I have to go to Steam, I think, actually. And then I have to bring up the... Uh, the local files, right? Yes. Okay, yeah. Um, so do you guys want me to... Yeah, I can show you... Let me see here. This is so interesting. I find this game so interesting. I think you might need to reinstall the game. <laughs> oh, man. Give her 10 more minutes. I, I think she's had enough time. I think she's had enough time. I think we can do it. Okay, so let's move to display. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we go to characters. Oh, and here's Monica. What happens after we delete her? Oh yeah, I was like, where are the other characters? She deleted them. Okay. Bye, Monica. Wait, is this like, <laughs> I just move it to the recycle bin? <laughs> <laughs> or do I have to permanently delete it? What? Do I have to go to the recycling bin now? <laughs> uh, I just deleted it. This should work though. Wait. Oh, yeah, 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 it did work. It did work. What's happening? New member, what's happening to me? It hurts. It hurts so much. Help me. Please hurry and help me. Monica does not exist. Help me! Monica does not exist. Monica does not exist. Did you do this to me? Did you? Did you delete me? I don't know! I, I didn't know! No! It, oh, it's not full screen anymore. I forgot. There you guys go. Restore the file. <laughs> uh, yeah, I forgot. I had it on display. There you guys go, though. How could you? How could you do this to me? Oh, no, Monica's out for blood. <laughs> you were all I had left. I sacrificed everything for us to be together. Everything. 
I loved you so much. Uh, get in line, honey. Get in line. I trusted you. Do you just want to torture me? Watch me suffer? Were you only pretending to be kind just to hurt me even more? The witch is gone. Peace has been restored. <laughs> I don't know about that. I never thought anyone could be as horrible as you are. You win, okay? Woo, woo, woo. Yes, let's go. We win. <laughs> Maybe. You win. You killed everyone. I hope you're happy. I hope you're happy. I Now that you manage this, uh, the, whatever the wicked song is. There's nothing left now. You can stop playing. Go find some other people to torture. New member. You completely, truly make me sick. Does she just go on forever now? Goodbye. Restore the file, see what happens. <laughs> Farewell, Monica. It has been fun. Uh. I still love you. Oh, man. Oh, man. I can't help it. What's wrong with me? How horrible am I for you to hate me this much? All my friends. I did so many awful things. We deleted her. <laughs> I know how. Come on, restore the file, then delete it again. But I don't want to do that to her. That would, that would be like ultra, like triple mean. I don't know. <laughs> how long would you say it is between like, that's this Monica route? I don't think that does anything. I'd have to find it in the recycle bin. Restore? Does she come back? We need Monica to confirm, I guess. I guess. Uh, I'd have to find it in the, the recycle bin. Mm, wherever that is. Um... Where is it? Do, 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 do. Uh. Oh yeah, here it is, moniker character. Restore? Could you sort by date? Yeah, uh, yeah, I found it, I found it. Okay. I... I shouldn't have done any of this. I, I think that did it. Wait, let's see here. Um, I, I guess I have to go back to the game files. One second. Just to make sure it's there. I assume it's there. Manage. Browse local game files. Characters? Yeah, it's there now. Can you restore the other characters? No, it's it doesn't show them being deleted. Uh... I'm just messing up a world that I don't even belong in. I don't think anything really changed. Because Monica deleted them, yeah. A world that you wanted to be a part of. I ruined it. I ruined everything. Maybe that's why you deleted me. Yeah, yeah, it didn't. Sorry, guys. I, I was really expecting for something to happen. Because I destroyed everything that you wanted. How long would you say this Monica route is? Does anyone know? Like, is it like the length of an actual route or is it like 10 minutes? Well, at least you tried. Now we know in the name of science. In the name of science, yes. I, I would have been like, what, what would have happened? There is no Monica route? Long? <laughs> you guys are giving me two different answers. You mean like... 
Like, like Intel, like she stops talking. Like how long is it until she stops talking? <laughs> how could I do that to someone I love? That's not love. That's... I've made up my mind. I know I said that I deleted everyone else, but that was kind of an exaggeration. I couldn't find it in myself to do it. Oh, Monica, okay, not totally evil, let's go. Even though I knew they weren't real, they were still my friends. And I love them all. And I love the Literature Club. I really did love the Literature Club. That's why I'm going to do this. I know it's the only way for everyone to be happy. And if I really love you... Then... Oh, she's almost done. Oh, no, Monica! You have to suffer all again, then she makes this a good world. The one you have to be. Or, er, then she'll let us go. Wait. So do I... Now play it, Slay. <laughs> Wait, but how long is, like, the, the new game? It's an ordinary school day like any other. As usual, I'm surrounded by couples and friend groups walking to school together. I always tell myself it's about time to meet some girls or something like that. Hey, new member! Oh, wait, but uh, we're not a new member yet. Shoot. Well, there already is one girl. That girl is Sauri, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. We used to walk to school together every day. And recently, we picked up that habit once again. Are you proud of me? Uh, for what? You know! For waking up on time! Well, you've been doing that for a while now. Uh-huh. But you never even said anything about it! Even though we walked to school together every day! Well, yeah. I always thought it was implied. It's embarrassing to say it loud. Come on, please! Mm. I wonder if you delete Monica early on what happens. Oh yeah, that's true. I think it does do something. Now you have to obtain Monica's poems. Sorry's back, Pog. Yeah, if I remember, it's dark. It's good mo motivation. Fine, fine. I'm proud of you, Sorry. I miss Sorry. Let's go! <laughs> We cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily com commute. Pardon me. By the way, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm not really... I start to say what I always do, that I'm not interested in joining any clubs. But something tells me Sauri would take more offense to that now. After all, how could I tell her that clubs are a waste of time? when she's starting a club of her, of her very own. Oh, she's starting a club? Actually, yeah. I think I've decided on a club. Really? Which one? Tell me. Um, I think I'll keep it a surprise. Boo. You meanie. Be patient, you'll find out soon enough. I used to ask myself why I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl. But I started to realize that in a way I envy her. When Sauri puts her mind to something, we can accomplish great things. So that's why I feel like I should do something special for her. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stand up gathering my motivation. Let's see. I recall the room number of the club from the flyer I saw. I walk across the school and upstairs a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Before long, I find the room. I timidly open the door in front of me. Hello? Ah! Oh! What are you doing here? Well, I just... I glance around the room. Huh? So you're the new member that Sauri's always talking about. Thank you for stopping by. 
that's my favorite soury pose. F soury. It feels, yeah, uh, poor soury. It feels ultra strange to see soury the one that, that mark is soury. Mmm. Yeah, it's, we haven't seen soury in forever. Wait, which one is girl one again? It's a pleasure to meet you. We're the Literature Club. Uh, I hope you enjoy your visit. Come on, Yuri. No need to be so formal. He's gonna think we're really strict or something. Uh... Sorry, Natsuki. The tall one whose name is apparently Yuri seems to be quite shy compared to the others. In comparison, the girl named Natsuki, despite her size, seems like the assertive one. Well, it's nice to meet both of you. I look forward to working with you. W working? Oh, lag? No, the pose with her fingers touching. Oh yeah, the 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 surprised one. Was that it? Don't tell me. You're That's right. The club I've decided to join is yours, Sauri. The literature club. Sauri's eyes light up. No way! No way! Ah! Sauri wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey! <laughs> well, if Sauri is this happy, then I'm sure it won't be so bad to have you around. Not to mention that there's four of us now. That means we can become an officially recognized club. I don't know what to say! We have to celebrate! <sighs> what an appropriate day for that, isn't it? Yeah! After all, Natsuki decided to... Hey, don't ruin the surprise! Oh, <laughs> sorry! Oh, we like this. Yes. Let's go, let's go. Okay, I don't know how long this is gonna be. Everyone sit down at the table, okay? How about I make some tea as, uh, tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki wraps, grabs a wrap tray and Yuri opens the closet. Feeling st still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Saori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Oh! Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing and the little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute! Wow, those look amazing. <laughs> well, you know. Cupcakes! <laughs> Hi, Sas... Uh, Cecily? Welcome, welcome! We are on the... The second, like, part after Monica of the game. I... It has been a time today. Bro, I want to see you react to the music videos for this. I don't know if you can, but that would be interesting. Oh, yeah, and some people... Um, Lord Cusero, I believe, has been... Uh, posting them in the Discord. I should I should look at those. This is basically the epilogue. Yeah, this is literally the very end. Oh, okay, okay. There's probably not that much left. Hello, yes, Balador. Okay, S sassy sassy Lee or sassy lie, sassy Lee. Oh, welcome, welcome. <laughs> uh, well, you know, just hurry and take one. Sauri grabs the one first, then I follow. It's delicious! Sauri takes with her talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she's made it herself. This is really good! Thank you, Natsuki. Well, of course it is. I'm a pro after all. There's no need to thank me or anything. As Natsuki struggles to accept the compliment, Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a... Oh, wait, wait, wait. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry. The teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I guess... <laughs> Already trying to impress our new member, Yuri? Uh, no, that's not... I insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know. I believe you. 
Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but uh, I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. So, what kind of things do you like to read? Mmm. Face palm, Lee. Uh, geez. <laughs> this is the wholesomeness I needed after that nightmare fuel. True. So, you want spoilers or like info on the girls, or do you know about them already? Uh, let's wait until the end. Yeah, I, I agree. Uh, thank you, Sassy Lee, for asking, though. I, yeah, I'm gonna play it out till the end first. Uh, but after that, yeah, sure, I would, I would dig some, uh, info on the girls. Yeah, cause it's, it's been a day. It's been a day <laughs> with, with coming to the conclusion of this, for sure. Well, uh... Considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga? Solid answer, still. Weeks later, when we come to the end of the game, solid answer, still. I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. N not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind, behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on clearly passionate uh, about her reading. She seems... Seemed so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Don't feel intimidated if you read. don't read much, okay? I'm certain we can find something that we have in common. Hey, Yuri! Uh... Well, about, you know, the first thing he said. Manga. Oh, manga. That's right. Natsuki tends to read manga in the club room. D don't just say it! For some reason, Natsuki seems embarrassed about it. Besides, manga is literature too, you know? So if the new member wants to read some of my manga, then don't try to stop him or anything. Natsuki, I wouldn't do such a thing. However, it could also be nice for us to diversify ourselves a little. He can take this opportunity to try something new as well. Wouldn't you agree? Uh, maybe! Great voiceover, by the way. <laughs> Thanks, I try. <laughs> okay, I'll be lurking or be popping in here and there. Okay, sounds good, Sassy Lee. I might start relearning this background music on piano. Oh no, you're gonna frighten everyone. <laughs> Sensing the tension, Sauri jumps in. Maybe we can all try something new. I think it could be fun. And we all get to know each other a little bit better, too. I mean... That's the kind of thing literature... Uh, literature clubs do, right? I don't disagree or anything. Yeah. You're right as usual, President. Oh, yeah, she's the president now. <laughs> Guess that means I should try picking out a novel or something, huh? Well, that would make two of us. I wouldn't mind doing it if I'm not the only one. Then, as for Yuri... Uh... I... have to read manga? Jeez. You were the one who suggested we diversify. You should be a little bit more open-minded. It's kind of hurtful. Hurtful? I, I didn't realize. With a guilty expression, Yuri thinks to herself. I'm sorry for disrespecting your interests, Natsuki. Oh, this is so wholesome. So wholesome and nice that they're not arguing anymore. If you're into it, then I'm sure it's a worthy form of literature. Are you just saying that? No. I've realized my error. So if you're willing to consider starting a novel, then I'll offer my gratitude by finding manga to read as well. Really? I, I mean... It makes me happy that you do that for me, Yuri. I do wish that piano would randomly start playing. You just get, you guys just want to freak me out. Wait, huh? Oh, I mean like the 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 background music? I mean, 
I assume you've played the game b before, Sassy Lee, but it's kind of traumatizing just a little bit. <laughs> Yuri's Charlie Brown face. The, the background music is deceptively um, terrifying a little bit. <laughs> Oh, and thank you for the uh, follow, Yara. I appreciate that. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, just a little bit. Oh, it's when she's embarrassed. Hmm. I even hear this out and about. I'm running. <laughs> I mean, have you fin have you played the the game before, Sassy Lee? I guess I didn't. I just didn't quite ask. Uh, I I just assumed. You can trust me to find something that you'll really like, okay? Same here. Perhaps I'll visit the bookstore after the club meeting. Just... just you? Uh... Would you... like to come along with me? Uh, I have, but I'm tuning in and I thought you were at the beginning. Oh no, we're at the end! We're at the very end! Wait, no, Monica isn't president? No, no, not anymore, yeah. It's, oh yeah, yeah. So it's... <laughs> I know, they look the exact same. Uh, yeah, so we're at the very end after after everything. The 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 replay, I assume, is like yeah. But yeah, I know how traumatizing this music can be now. <laughs> um, if you don't mind, not at all. Not not at all. Oh, this is so cute. They're gonna be friends. I always go alone, so... Yeah, me too. This is so cute! Sorry, shut up. I'll show you some manga there too, okay? Yes. I look forward to it. Natsuki and Yuri start to clean up the food. Uh-huh! I guess the meeting's over, huh? Yeah, looks like it. It's nice to see everyone getting along. Isn't it? I think everyone likes you, too. You think so? Well, everyone always seems to get along a little bit better with you around Saori. Ah! Don't say something like that, it's embarrassing! Well, whatever. I was surprised when you told me you were starting a club. But I think you're pulling it off just fine. We're gonna make it at the best club ever! Now that you joined, every day is gonna be so much fun! Um, hey! I really want to thank you! I mean, I'm really happy that you joined the club and everything. But the truth is, I already knew that you were going to. <laughs> There's actually something else. I wanted to thank you for getting rid of Monica. <gasps> they know! They know! Oh! I love the end of the game. I think the background music is cute. Okay, so you're act four. <laughs> yeah. I, I think. Sure. Scary. Yeah, want to know the reason why she knows? N not yet. Yeah, I'll, I'll wait until the very end of the game. Wait. Could she see everything that happened? Does she have memories of it? That's right. I know everything she did. Oh my gosh, she just answered my question. Maybe it's because I'm the president now. But I really know everything. <laughs> I know how hard you tried to make everyone happy. I know about all the awful things that Monica did to make everyone really sad. But none of that matters anymore. It's just us now. Oh no! Sorry! You're not the new Monica, right? And you made me the happiest girl in the whole world. I can't wait to spend every day like this with you forever and ever. <sighs> oh, or R E B E. No, not again. <laughs> uh. uh w what's happening? I won't let you hurt him. 
Who? Oh no, is this Monica? Monica pretend to, to, pretending to be soury? It, it hurts. Uh, I'm sorry, I was wrong. There's no happiness here after all. No, maybe it's Monica. Goodbye, Sauri. Goodbye, new member. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Just, yeah. Goodbye, literature club. Can you hear me? <clears throat> Hi, it's me. Um, so you know how I've been like practicing piano and stuff and not really any good at it yet, like at all, but I wrote you a song and I was kind of hoping that I could show it to you because I worked really, really hard on it. So yeah. Okay, this is actually kind of a bop. What will it take just to find that special day? Have I found everybody a fun assignment to do? That's it. Wait, so is that Monica? M Monica, <laughs> wait, is it still going on? What good are words when a smile says it all? And if this world this is a really nice song, though, Monica, actually. This is her first poem to us, right? Or is it all the poems that she did? Dan, Dan Salvato. Wow. Does Jillian Ashcraft. Does the game delete itself? I feel like it would. You now you need the hidden editing. Uh, the hi hidden ending. Is it if I she writes the song in game at least, yeah. <laughs> if wow. That is interesting. Wait, so how does the game end? <laughs> that, yeah, Monica just deletes everything because... Special thanks, Monica and KP. Potter loves anime. The new member. Yeah, that would be weird. Yeah, if it just deletes itself. Cause yeah, she, I mean, she does delete everything. Mm. This is my final goodbye to the literature club. I finally understand the literature club is truly a place where no happiness can be found. To the very end, it continued to expose innocent minds to a horrific reality. A reality that our world is not designed to comprehend. I can't let any of my friends undergo that same hellish epiphany. For the time it lasted, I want to thank you for making all my dreams come true, for being a friend to all of the club members, and most of all, thank you for being a part of my literature club. With everlasting love, Monica. 
Made with love my ass. <laughs> I think it does. Script file is missing or corrupt. Please reinstall the game. That's it. That's it. I mean, it's a black screen for you guys, but it's just my home screen for me. <laughs> wow. The creator wanted to see the world of fire. <laughs> That's it. Wow, that is. That is something. GG, great game. It was actually the concepts behind this were so interesting. And so I've never played a game like this. I mean, as you guys know, my game history is limited. We'll say that much. But yeah, it was still a really interesting thing.